Here's one of mine. Have a look. Oh, Avery, you're as tight as the fabric on a reupholstered Davenport. Not for long, I wasn't. This uh, was the day uh, I started to like playing inside. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we are here to check out an American Dad Try Not to Laugh Challenge. Now, you guys have sent me this mug on the discords. And you've assured me at Maximum Funny for the low, low price of being thrown out if you are wrong. Because you walk in the plank if this sucks. Let's do this. Hey, scientists. Hey, Mrs. Smith. What brings you by? Well, I was talking to Stan last night, and he seemed pretty sure that nothing could stop the aging process. But I think if anyone in the world could do it, it'd be you boys. So smart. We have been goofing around with this one thing, but it's classified. Still classified? Yes. Oh! Still classified? Yes. I brought brownies. Brownies! Way to ruin it, Dr. Professor Person. She was about to let y'all run a train on her. Damn. He makes it difficult to negotiate. No! Nice, the mobile lab's back from the garage. I see they didn't put on the semi-erotic mud flaps I suggested. Can we get on with this? Yes, of course. Now, once you're in the brain of Bin Laden's cat, codename Buffy, you're to find out if she's overheard any terrorist intel. Then ask her why she tries to scratch me when I pet her. Does she hate me? I do everything for her. You know, Ray, this is highly experimental. There's no guarantee you'll come out alive. What do I care? My kids are out of the house. My wife left me. Very good. Just sign right here. Ray, you had a wife? I always thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. Oh. I never think about you. Anyway, Director Bullock, I have to take off early today. My kids are leaving for the summer. Uh-oh. Ah. This is how it starts. Ruth and I were happily married for 25 years. But when the kids left for college, we sat down to dinner one night and boom! She realized how boring I was. I'm not worried about that. Francine will never leave me. Oh, yeah? Without your kids, you got no buffer. And you're more boring than I am. It's true. No one wants to eat lunch with you. Well, even if I am boring, Francine will never find out. I've got an ace in the hole. All right, Ray, you're going into the cat's mind in three, two... He's safely in. Good. <laughs> Anybody else care for a go? It's super fun. I swear to God, bro. Weather Control Division. What is wrong with all these zesty dudes, bro? Oh, it's you, Stan. What kind of favor? Just know that anybody does that to me, bro, we gotta fight. We gotta fight. You know what I mean? And you cannot say that I'm tripping. You can't say none of that. Uh-uh. None of that. Just fight! I used to have a dog. And legs. And arms. I was an Olympic skier before the CIA switched my brain with a goldfish. Well, what were we supposed to do? Just let East Germany win that gold medal? Not on my watch. Wow! Oh! Hey, uh, Ooh. what's going on? I sent Weitzman out for burritos, and he came back with tacos instead. <laughs> cool. Hey, I need that Klaus Heisler body that came in last week. Ah, oh, sure thing. It's right here. <laughs> uh, what happened to all the ice? Yeah, we needed it for margaritas. <laughs> no! No! This girl's drunk, so we can kiss him. This is all your fault! <sighs> you were just taking me here last week when I asked you I'd be in my body. But now it's ruined! I'll never ski jump again. You completely boned me! Well, usually you debone fish, so I did good, huh? <laughs> Stan, are you okay? You have to wake up. 
we have to go. Bro, my imagination is so vivid that when shit happens to the people that I'm watching the videos of, I feel it too. I really can feel it. Like, it really hurt. Like, I was like, ow. Like, my freaking right eyeball. I can't believe you've done this. Guten Morgen, fish face. Klaus, you son of a bitch. You switch us back, right? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just pooped. Does it just float here? Why is my mind telling me to eat it? My offer still stands. Put my brain back into a human body, and I'll get a job doing animal sounds. Listen to this one. Yup, 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 yup. I'm a rabbit. That's it. Thank you, Klaus. No. What a great idea. Come no. on, Roger. We're going to the CIA. Wait. Wait, where are you going? We had a deal. I don't make deals with fish. Sure, help this works. Only antelope. You what the horse whisperer said. It's mine. Okay, shot, but its body is perfect. But now, with my mind in its body, I'm gonna win that race. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> he killed himself. He's cold. He took himself out. Well, I am German. He was tired. Oh, oh, gross! He's alive. He's a car. Yeah. I found a way to cheat death. Remember that show, My Mother the Car? Well, change the word car to fish, and the word mother to car, and the word the to is now my former, because your car is now your former fish, bro. Terrible time. How did you get in my car, Klaus? I'm alive, Stan. I thought you'd be happy about this. I'll be happy when I know what you did to Navi, Joe. Oh, don't worry about Navi Schmo. I can do more than he could ever do. And more. Have you ever seen the fountains at the Bellagio? Child's play. That's actually pretty impressive. That's very impressive. Tell me what happened. I like it. I was furious with you for wasting my operation money on your precious car. So I went to the CIA to check if they really do shred bodies. You didn't believe me? No. I hope I haven't jeopardized our friendship. Anyway, the scientist there said he could put me in anything with a battery. So he put you in my truck? You're using Morse code? That's how we say yes in truck language. No. Look, I'm glad you're okay, but we're going back to the CIA to put you in something that's around me less. Maybe something in the basement. Personality-wise, you've always seemed like a water heater to me. My friend's in here. I need you to get it working again. I don't care what experimental, morally questionable technology you use. Just do it. I could try a car battery. Don't talk to me about your dark arts. Just bring him back. Klaus? Traffic on the fives. El perro, el perro, es mi corazón. Please turn. Here's the pitch. Wait, this isn't... Where are we? Where's your car? I crashed it into the cave. Why? To save you, Klaus. I knew that, Stan. I just wanted to hear you say it. Now, can you get me out of this thing? I think I've learned everything I can as a car. Well, I did just get a new shipment of lab animals in. Take your pick. They're arranged from left to right, from fastest to fiercest. How about the fish over there? That's my fish. No, that's my friend. You know, the snake looks like he could be a cool customer. You're going in the fish. I thought we could start with a little motorcycle mayhem. Nah, come on, big daddy. Let's fire up that Dutch oven. Roger, I thought you'd never ask. Ah! Uh, uh, Beat him! Uh, oh, this boy is so strong! Roger, help! Hold on, buddy. There you go, Dr. What? What? Mom? Dad? Where are we? Oh, good. You're all awake. What the hell? You were right, Steve. With technology, I'll never have to worry about outliving you guys. You'll be safe and sound inside my Macintosh. You mean our Macintosh? Seriously? That's your biggest concern right now? Roger, get us out of this computer. I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> That's cute. But your foot's over here. <gasps> Why are you doing this to us? It's for your own good. You used to live in these vulnerable bodies. Bodies break down. Look. Oh, I'm going to be sick. No, that's the point. 
You're never gonna be sick again. Thanks to technology, you'll live as long as me. Roger, this is not what I meant. You're so humble, Steve. But when you started blabbing about technology this and technology that, it dawned on me. If the CIA can put Klaus's mind in a fish's body or Stan's car, they should be able to put the family in a computer. And Dr. Weitzman agreed to this? Not at first. But it turns out Dr. Weitzman is a big fan of $20. Attention, everyone. Wow. We are opening our offices for a totally unrestricted inspection. Therefore, each of you will need to take home and hide one of our many illegal items. I want to buy oh, right. right. Let me Why is that ponies woman are illegal? illegal? First up, a life-size Margaret Thatcher robot. Oh, 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 oh sir, oh, sir, over here. Oh, Sanders, good. she's all yours. Look like yes. a grown-ass man. It's a grown-ass man. Europe was created by history, America by philosophy. <laughs> the mouth on this one. Woo! It better be a mouth on that one if I'm paying that much money for it. Shit. <laughs> okay, next, God's autograph. Uh, really? Oh, up, up, up. Protestants only. Oh. Oh. Wow. Enjoy. And a machine that turns water into co Shit. Christianity was the wrong answer after all. Damn it! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go party my nose clean off my face. Sort out the rest yourselves. Oh, look at in that one! That's mine! I called it! No, it's not! It's mine! Oh! Oh, it's a disintegrator? I thought it was a penis enlarger. <laughs> that almost went horribly wrong. <laughs> Honey, look what I got! Oh, what is that stuff? It's CIA-grade, high-tech, highly illegal surveillance equipment. What? Check it out. It's so sensitive you can hear a moth fart. Oh, ho, ho. open a tiny window, moth. How much fun is this thing, huh? Very fun, Stan. But we really need to get going to the Mamari's barbecue. Or, or we could sit here in our underpants, drink scotch, and listen to the barbecue. Um, I'm actually kind of hungry. You're right. It wouldn't be fair to the neighbors. They love me. I'll stop by and make their week. Turn the chicken crap they call their lives into chicken salad. The good kind. With grapes. And barbecue Whoa, sauce. Whoa, Moth, what the hell did you eat? A poncho? Get it? Because Mexican clothes are like Mexican food for moths. We, we really should get over there. I'm on fire. Hey, where are you guys going? Taking Maggie for a long weekend to the CIA beach house. Why is that the man CIA has a beach house? We do now. Congress is letting the CIA seize any property that could help us in the war Why on terror. And, and this is cool with Bullock? And Don't know. Nobody's seen him for days. Charlie, and Charlie, and Charlie, and Charlie, and Charlie, 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 listen to me. Charlie, Charlie. What's your name again? You get cracked out over cigarettes or weed? What type of shit? Ooh. Can you leave my door open? Leave the door open. Can you leave your legs I the open, girl? I knew the deal. Baby, we leave your mistake, legs we cover it up. open. Like the time Dick accidentally created feline AIDS, and we covered it up by blaming it on gay cats. Okay, but remember how upset you got when my fourth grade teacher asked what you did on career day, and I said you introduced crack and AIDS to the ghetto? I've told you time and again that AIDS was the FBI. But, but, it's good to be sensitive to the socioeconomically disadvantaged and their pain. Yeah? Well, what about your pain when me and my friends protested on our front lawn for four months? I Enough. just had that lawn seated. All those Enough hippies what? urinating. But, but, I guess you did raise awareness for... for... The Mexicans? For nothing! It wasn't even clear what you were protesting. Were you against soap? Getting jobs? Having sex in private? All right, Stan, we're ready. Launch the missiles. Launch? I, missiles? I, I, you still gonna have sex? Why not? Are you all right? Yes. Only the white girl, not the black guy. I'm not racist, just sexist. We gonna edit that out. You had me all left, but now I'm all right. I don't understand. What's he? Oh, I get it. He's using right in the political sense. <gasps> His brainwashing's been compromised. Seize him! <laughs> oh! Ooh. 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 Yep. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Shit. Oh! Oh! Dude! How do you get? I wouldn't hurt a guy in a wheelchair. Hell of yeah, course will. not. But I would hurt a guy with his wheelchair. Uh, 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 Damn! Uh, Damn! 
Dad? Damn! Are you really back? Yes, Haley, I am. It seems Damn. the only force strong enough to break their brainwashing was a lifetime of disappointment in my daughter. It is you! Dad! <laughs> wow! What have I done? You should have beat the bitch harder! That's what you get! You fall for this Me Too movement shit! You gotta hit the bitch! just happened well done smith or should i say smiths deputy director bullock let me explain we needed to test mount rushmore's new anti-missile laser defense so we figured the easiest way to do that would be to brainwash our most loyal agent into firing missiles at it really that was the easiest way no but South Dakota had a lot of Homeland Security funds just sitting around, so we figured we should do something cool with it. Are you insane? Millions of kids go to bed hungry every night, but you waste money making Abe Lincoln into a Transformer? Yeah. God, you're annoying. Everything you say is annoying. This guy gets it. Yeah. So the family has That's no real, idea that we're living shit. yesterday's Father's Day? Nope. Their minds have been whipped clean. Wh whipped clean. Whipped, whipped clean. Why, why can't I say this? I got it. Their minds have been whipped cream. I feel like we're building to the point where you tell us how you did this. Are we? We are. The CIA was having... Wait, wait, Stan. How long is this story? Because I just want to know. Do I sit? Do I stand? Medium? Long? Uh, lean. Yeah, I'll lean. <laughs> Continue. The CIA was... No, nope, gonna sit. Gonna sit. You seemed real unsure about your answer. Well, don't let me interrupt you. The CIA was having a yard sale. Just gonna lie down to play it safe. The CIA had to have a yard sale for the same reason anyone has a yard Why sale. Why is his anus tooted up like that, make an ass load of money. <laughs> Got my dream part in the school play. Signed, The Sweetest Boy in Oz. That's <sighs> gay. This That's is gay. not how I want to remember my son. You don't have to. Just use this. It's a memory neutralizer. Flash is a light that wipes the last 24 hours from your memory. I use it on myself every time I watch The Nutty Professor. That way I get as hard as I did the first time. Well, okay, but not perfect Father's Day. I decided to use it on the family. Wait, what happened to Roger? He went on a vape run, bro. The house was dangerously low on vanilla vacation. Don't get many visitors, but I'm always happy to show off my CIA memorabilia. Whoa, Haley, check it out. The super crack we introduced in the 80s. <gasps> Look, Steve, the real Jason Bourne. How do I know how to do this? Dad, we only have four minutes. I believe this is what you came for. Now let's talk about a fair price. So, who's this? I am James Abram Garfield, 20th President and Commander-in-Chief of the 38 United States. Oh, are you one of Stan's friends? Do you really expect us to believe that's James Garfield? Well, yes. I took President Garfield's beard comb from the museum, extracted DNA from one of the hairs, then used the new CIA Regenesis lab to Jurassic Park him back to life. But Jurassic Park wasn't real. It was a movie. Sounds like somebody's been to Trinidad, but not Tobago. Wh why would you do this? Because you need to learn about history. And who's a better teacher than someone who is living history? How did you get the old-fashioned clothes? Easy. I dug up his grave and put him in his funeral suit. What? I'm kidding, Haley. I had Garfield do it. There were thousands of worms in me. Okay, we got six hours to find the cloning machine. I brought trail mix and water in case it takes us all night to found it. Good thing I brought this trash can in case we found it right away. Wait! What are you gonna name yours? I want mine to have a sexy stripper name, like Honey. I'm gonna name mine after my great-grandmother, Glitter. Naming your sex clone after your great-grandmother. That's a nice way to honor her. Here we go! Bring on the babe! Control Z! Control Z! Stand up straight. Wipe your glasses. Tuck in your shirt. 
Stan, you agreed Steve would be raised my way. You're not allowed to be strict with him. I'm not being strict with Steve. Steve's out there. I was throwing this hoe out on the streets. I don't give a shit if it is my wife. Word? Oh, you saying I can't tell my son what to do, when to do it? Oh, I guess you need to go out on the streets with him then. I knew a social worker who was like this. I had custody of my younger brothers. They was in foster care. They would always be real bad in the school and fight teachers and kids and throw bricks and throw stuff through windows and get in trouble. And then they would come home because their foster parents would let them play video games if they got in trouble at school. Tried that shit with me, I took all their games away. All right, well, you ain't playing your game then. Because I think your game is the thing that's telling you to do this stuff, so I'm going to take it away. That way it's not telling you to do that no more. To get them to correlate acting like a jackass in school with losing their things that they like. Social worker comes over and tries to tell me, no, you can't take away their games. You can't tell them they can't watch TV. Go ahead and go watch TV. I cursed this out and threw her out of my house. You can't try to get the out of my house. You can't treat me like, get the f out my house! My house, my way, the highway. Oh! What? You oh. won the race so you can raise Steve however you like. This is a clone I had made at the CIA for me to raise how I like. I'm calling him Steve Arino. Hi, Mom. <gasps> Pretty great, huh? I also cloned world famous comedian John Leguizamo. Zamo, do an impression. Okay, uh, this is my cousin Keisha from the block. Hey, I'm Keisha from the block. I don't know, John. I don't know anyone like that. Stan, how could you clone Steve? I was in a pickle. You won the right to raise Steve your way, but my way is far superior. So this was your solution? What yeah. was I supposed to do, Welch on a BMX race? Get the BMX people involved? The Council of Twelve? I'm not going before them again. Wow, I have a clone? We should buy matching capes and invent our own creepy language and do jazz tap routines. They're identical, right down to their memories and emotions. So from here on, how they turn out is totally based on their upbringing. Gabalactimo? Shabwawa, shabwawa. <laughs> Stan, this is insane. Oh, it's perfect. You can raise Steve your way, and I'll raise Steve Arino my way. We'll see which one turns out better, and the other one, we'll just put down. What? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Boys, come over here. Read them and weep, ladies. Just a second there, Dick. I don't think you've met. DJ, Michelle, Stephanie, Comet, and Uncle Jesse. Full house! <laughs> Race riots! Take it easy, Smith. Dick's just blowing off steam. Man, I'm always losing at poker. I need a beer. That's his avatar, Black Dick. I realize that name is a rich joke area, but curb yourself, people. This isn't junior high. Although Black Dick is huge and veiny. <laughs> wow! Oh, girl. Wow! Uh, before you miss it like you have all his other birthdays. Wow! Oh, Black Dick, you're spewing foam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell on me, bitch. He's never gonna have the type of childhood I had. It's on me, ho! It's sad. Kids today, when I was a lad, I never saw the point of playing inside until I was sent to an all-boys boarding school. Then my tune changed. Mother, I'd mother, like what? To drop those kids in the middle God of the forest. Damn it! Make them have some real experience, ah! like wolves' kids do. Ah! Sir, these cucumber sandwiches are divine. But when did the CIA get a tea room? At the same time that we got a yacht. Whoa. What the hell? Where are we? I'll tell you where we are. At the top of an active volcano. York Peppermint Patty! What was in that tea? A very light opiate, but that has nothing to do with the visions you're seeing. To calibrate force fields so strong that the holographic images projected onto them feel real to the touch. Ah, so it works like the holodeck. The what now? From Star Trek. Some of us spent the late 80s and early 90s getting laid, Smith. In any event, I call this room the hologram deck. So it can recreate any environment? Well, any environment stored in our bank of human memories. Wait, you recorded our memories? Yes. Remember those headphones you got for Christmas? They weren't headphones. Those things never worked. Actually, they work perfectly. Here's one of mine. Have a look. Oh, Avery. 
You're as tight as the fabric on a reupholstered Davenport. Not for long I wasn't. This uh, was the day uh, I started to like playing inside. Uh, playing inside? Uh, eh? uh, Wait a minute. Uh, oh, this holodeck could simulate uh, the woods I played in as a child? Uh, of course it can. Uh, uh, you uh, can uh, 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 Look, I'm uh, sorry, Stan, but I'm just... You know, I saw a gay porno once. No matter how long I watched, the girls just never came. They never came. <laughs> I'm sick of this zesty shit, nigga. Motherfucker. <laughs> Reason to believe God exists. Okay, well, I can help you with oh, that. Man. Give me one second. Lab. Hey, fellas, how you coming with that machine that beams an image of the Christian God directly into people's brains? Yeah, we're going to have to call you back. Fine. I don't need science. That's exactly what I'm trying to disprove. What the hell is that? What is all this? An We're octicorn? doing CRISPR. Okay, we got an octocorn, a Velasa whale, and crumb from I Real Monsters spliced with that mutant fish from The Simpsons. That's the one you want to have sex with. <laughs> what is all this? We're doing CRISPR. The children's cereal? That's Chris Bix. And it's not just for children. Successful scientists like it too. CRISPR is clustered regularly interspace short palindromic repeats. That's nerd talk for improvising a sax solo over a 251 change on your double helix. And that was jazz talk for we're editing DNA. Can I show him the video? Of course you can, little buddy. I'm Dr. Dubs, and this is my ride. Many diseases, like those carried by mosquitoes, could be eradicated by changing a single letter of incorrect DNA. Think of genetic code as a text document that describes a living thing. CRISPR can target the part of the DNA causing a problem, then take a mugshot of the defective gene, and delivers it to a surgical protein. The hell? This is my video! Not anymore. I'm friends with the editor. And he hates you. It's like putting an APB out on a defective gene. And voila! You've changed a living organism and created a malaria-free mosquito. Is this real? Does it work on people? Sure does. Wait, Jackson? In the flesh. I always wanted to be a woolly mammoth and CRISPR made it happen. And these two swear this is exactly how big they were. So it works on people, you say. And my children are people, you say. And I can borrow this for the weekend, you say. He's going to take it, that's pretty clear. Let's just stand here and enjoy the smell of giant corn and each other. Your DNA is ready for injection. You may now play God. Someone has to. Excuse me, mind if I move in? Oh. Pleased to meet you, One Fang Dracula. My name's Unicorn Tail Softbottom. <laughs> The thing is, I already had my appendix out when I was a kid. Then what did they remove? Some red thing. I didn't recognize it. But how could Francine tell you weren't listening? Didn't you smile while she was speaking? Of course. Did you remember also to nod? Uh, yeah. Then that's all you can do. There's no third thing to listening. I... There is. You gotta say, what? Yo, you lying. Or, yo, really? You lying? That, seriously? Man, see, it, it be like that sometimes, but that, I ain't gonna lie, that sucks. You gotta say stuff like that. Women like that shit. I suppose. But I'd still like to have sex sometime this year. She's withholding sex. Why didn't you say something? <laughs> Pharmacology department, send up a bottle of estrocillin right away. What's estrocillin? It's an experimental drug the CIA has designed to enable male agents to listen to female intelligence targets and actually retain the information they tell them. Damn it, why is this fridge always so full? That's it, I quit! Wait, I can't quit. 
I've got a family. Unfortunately, I've already accepted your resignation. Ah, Trish, there you are. Here's the estracillin you requested, sir. Here you go, Smith. Take these, and in no time you'll be connecting with your wife all night long. Gentlemen, this is the perfect opportunity while I have you both here. I wanted to let you know... What are you here, sir? Is it the hum of an AC unit? Actually, mine's Wales. Bathroom phone. Smith, tell me you haven't taken the estrocillin. Why? What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, sir! Either I've gone crazy, or I've turned into a woman! What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> hey, screw you! How did this happen? I don't know. All I did was take this pill, but the woman at the lab said nothing about recommended dosage or possible side effects. It's imperative that you only take half a pill. A whole pill will transform you into a woman. You know what? I'm gonna start making them smaller. Increases comprehension of female chatter. So this is why you were listening so well. I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to be a better husband. Don't I get points for effort? <sighs> no. Nope. Yeah, I no, guess. Don't. Oh, don't worry. We'll figure this out. Are, are your boobs bigger than mine? Just different is all. In size. You see, Stan? Our family's drifting apart. All right, Francine, just relax. I know exactly what we need. It's time for a Smith family vacation. Yeah, we always have the best time on vacation. Dad, can we go to Graceland? Steve, if you want to pay your respects to a fat man who died on the toilet, we can visit your Aunt Mary's grave. <laughs> this place is amazing. I love you all so much. Family hug! Oh, you were right, Stan. This vacation is exactly what we needed. Hello! Roger? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Ah! Roger, what's going on? Oh, I woke you up because I need to borrow your blue dress. I've decided to go out for parts as a woman. It just came to me out of nowhere when I was watching Tootsie last night on AMC. Then they showed arachnophobia. Not what I would call an American movie classic. No, Roger, why are we in these things? Oh, the goo, yeah. Well, every year Stan checks out these artificial memory chambers from the CIA, plops you suckers in, and then programs a great vacay. This year's Maui, sweet. Did you get me one of those hang loose t-shirts? <laughs> See, because you didn't really go. But if we're in here, where's Stan? Come on, Georgetown! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Hoy, yes! Hoy, yes! Hoy! There's an old German saying, don't blame the fish. There are other sayings, but they, um, mostly involve genocide. What's all that, Dick? I'm watching every movie ever made, alphabetically by actor's last name. I'm on Martin Mull, underrated actor. Could anyone else have played Colonel Mustard in Clue? The answer is yes, Christopher Lloyd. My point is, Mull gets work, consistently. But you have a wife and kids at home. How do you have the free time to do anything? The boys down at the lab gave me these. You take a pill right before bed and you feel like you just slept eight hours. So you take these pills and you never have to sleep? Wow, so I can spend days with my family and the nights are all for me. What will the guys at the lab think of next? They have tons of cool stuff. Check out my rocket zipper. <laughs> Once again, we beat the Russians. Why so glum, chum? My wife found out I was using morning mimosa to control her mind. Marriage. It's a real tightrope walk. Did you mention your daytime Emmys? No, I like to play that cool. And now she doesn't believe anything I say. She's embraced all these crazy conspiracy theories. Yeah. UFOs and Bigfoot. Yeah, and she's blabbing about them on some crackpot radio show. Today, she was going on about how the government is watching us poop through our cell phones. 
and she's broadcasting this on the radio? I have to walk to my office now. Goodbye, don't follow me. Project Toilet Cam has been compromised. We need to eliminate Francine Smith. <laughs> this bank of monitors reminds me of the Brady Bunch. Except all these people are taking craps, not just Alice. Let's keep it simple. Kill Francine on three. One, two... Stop! Leave my wife alone! I won! For the last time, I wasn't racing you, and I clearly passed the mailbox first. Sir, please. Smith, I don't want to go to war with you and your goons. This is between me and the woman who uncovered Project Toilet Cam. Compromising photos of people on the toilet are the greatest asset <laughs> we have against terrorism. What? I don't follow. Think, Smith. What's the most embarrassing thing you don't want anyone to see? You leave my children out of this. Remember the time you ate poached salmon from an Amoco gas station? <laughs> Delete that! I'll do anything you want! And this is why I'm not worried about ISIS. Why are you failing my son? Answer me, dirtbag! He had his Japanese friend do his writing assignment. Look! I look around me and I see it isn't so! What? I mean, why'd you cheat? <sighs> oh my god! Oh! Oh! Haley, don't make me spare your life because you're part of the family. Oh, shit, it's like that bike thing from Mr. and Mrs. Smith! I never should have tried to control you. You were on your own path to happiness. And if killing me will put you back on that path, then go ahead! No. Just know that I love you and I always will. You're my little girl. Now, if you still feel you can pull that trigger... Because I've got something you don't. Your hair. <gasps> hey, that's racist! You know, Steve... I don't say it often enough, but I love you. And the Oscar goes to someone else. Damn it, Steve, when I find you, I'll kill you. <sighs> there we go. I guess I misjudged you folks. I thought you were trying to hide something. Us? Oh, that's so silly. Ow, she bit me. What? <gasps> you were going to let me die for $1,800? No. Yes. No. Can I see the back? You butchered my hair! Life is not worth living! Klaus, no, it's not worth it! <laughs> Suffer for your crimes! <coughs> Sometimes I escape to a little place in my head where no one complains about the meals I cook. <coughs> and there's no more scraping snot rockets off the shower tiles! <coughs> and no more PB&J with the crust cut off! Uh, Run, uh, bitch! Oh my god! I'm sorry, Mr. S. Your daughter and I have just been fighting a lot, and I'm not sure she's awesome. Just say the word. Don't do it, Francine. All I heard was do it. Yeah! Honey, it's not loaded. Ow. And in order to protect my family, I'll have to kill him. Or you. Or both of you. You wouldn't kill me. You love me too much. <sighs> Thank you for helping an old man. Now this! What are you doing? Killing you before you kill me! I'm off for a little night run at the Howard University track. Well, sit down and have dinner first. Thank you, no. I'm going for a run, and I have to leave here right now, immediately. Guys, get in here. The porn channel's coming in for some reason. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Is everyone okay? Hey, does anyone have the exact time? 8.04. Thank you, my love. Ow, ow. Oh, my running regimen is killing my lower back. Ah, oh, I gotta lie down. You guys can get up now! It's definitely over! Roger? Roger might be trying to kill us. 
And we have no brakes. Guys, I saw the sign. You're alive. It's too late. A switch went off inside me that night, and now all I think about is killing you guys. My first few attempts failed, so I'm changing my approach. Gonna get more creative. Is that a spiked dildo and acid lube? What type of Friday night freak nasty shit he got popping? Nothing set in stone, although I'm pretty sure these scorpions are going in Steve's butt. Mind the curb. <clears throat> uh, oh. You know, for a big time super spy, you sure get knocked out easy. That's not true. Take it back. Take it back, I said. First, let me ask you something. How many eggs should I eat to get enough energy to plow your wife? Uh, three should do it. What? <laughs> Thanks for the five Gs. We're almost there. It's just another block. Hookers! Oh! What are you fine-ass ladies doing out here all alone? That last was a man! Our bodies. Sold! Get in! Two oh, of them are men! In. Now we're going to the hospital and that's... Wait a minute. This is my life. I'm Steve. Yeah. Yeah, you make a good point. Okay, we'll switch faces just as soon as I fix this lamp. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Ah, I shouldn't have hit him in the face. That's my face. It's Christina Aguilera's larynx. Oh, get it away from me! <sighs> What's going on? Back to sleep. <laughs> oh. Ninja. Ninja! <gasps> now let's celebrate. Oh, hell no! Now you done it! Yeah! Ah! <gasps> He's gonna take my necklace away! Franny, I, I just need a little time to think. Maybe you do too, huh? Now we both have a little time to think. Thinking's good. Thinking's what rational people do. I mean, where will you live? This affects everyone! Whoa, what's this? Is the sidewall cracking? Shouldn't be. I just got these. Sex pun! You're alive! Except you're... You completely boned me! Well, usually you debone fish, so I did good, huh? <laughs> what did I do? You did it, Stan. You're a hero. I am? The way you picked yourself up and somehow got everyone to go back to their dorms? Amazing work. Hi, I'm the chancellor of this university. I'm also Olympic gold medalist Mark Spitz. Oh, my God, Mark Spitz? Easy, child. I'd like to bestow upon you our highest honor, my mustache. Achoo! Uh, I'm still unconscious, aren't I? One more level to go. Now it's time to say good night, Steve. Daniel. Oh, good night, Steve. Daniel, no. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Good night, Putin. <sighs> For the love of hit him! Hit him in the head with a shotgun. <laughs> you, you uh, you made that an uncomfortable experience for me, Daniel. Didn't have to be. Should have been fun. Haley, I'm in love with you. Oh, 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 no, Roger. We're friends. I mean, I'm flattered, but you know I'm married. All right, well, fantastic then. Roger, what are you... No! Steve, I freaked out. Relax, they're just blanks. Blanks? Oh, hi, I'm Stan Smith. I think it's cool to trick my daughter. Who cares if it scars her for life? I guess they weren't all blanks. Dad, help him. Call a real ambulance. Ah! It's paint! Woohoo!
awesome! Yeah! yeah! Red team Red. wins! Wait, stop! Remember when you had the chicken pox and I gave you this bear? <laughs> ah! Just know that I love you and I always will. You're my little girl. Now, if you still feel you can pull that trigger... <gasps> Stan! Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a dream that I was dead. You were? For six whole minutes? What? I want you to hurt me to make up for how I treated you. Here, take my gun and shoot me through the cheek. Stan, I am not going to... Sorry again about the whole cheek thing. I, I didn't mean to... Nonsense! You just gave me another hole for your glory to shine through. A glory hole in my face. Didn't have to be this way, you dumb son of a bitch. Whose name is Chaz? Oh, boy. I knew you were weak, just like your friend here. Real strength is having power and choosing not... Ow, my skin! Ooh. 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 Nice shot, Steve. Every shot's a nice shot with a McGregor trank gun. McGregor! It's Scottish for bullseye. Um, just one more question. Why is there a crate of missiles tied to your car? Haley, Haley, Haley! Ah! You just couldn't let it rest, could you? <laughs> Damn, Haley, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Not Sorry about penis. tranquilizing you, Stan. I, I wasn't sure who was doing the most damage down there. You know the drill here. You know, I, I remember a time when this was a safe hallway. I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I could walk home without being scared. Yeah, I don't want to be scared anymore. Just shut up and give me... Ah! A whoopsie. Ah! What a day. Tell me about it. I don't even know where the hell I am. Looter! Self-defense! A black and a white talking as if it's normal. Peter, what are you doing? You know me. Everybody shut up and let me think. Just let me think. Stan, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Classic American dad. Camp love can be tough, huh? How would you know? You got your camp, love. Actually, I didn't. What? I loved Amy Bennett, but the part I didn't tell you was, she didn't love me back. She broke my heart. So how'd you get over Amy? Well, son, as you grow older, you'll find that the hurt fades away. Why, Amy? Why don't you love me? <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Dad. Don't you dare patronize me! Amy! Amy! <laughs> I don't want to live! This holiday season, go for strength. Go for inspiration. Go for Oscar Gold. Wow. So sad. Really sad. Yes, it's sad. I'm glad you guys got that. Ah! 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 What have you done? Relax, you freak. It's just a bee. I'm glad that whore bug is dead. She wasn't a whore. She was a beautiful specimen who captured the heart of one lonely and sensitive ginger-haired boy. Oh! <laughs> Never cry over a whore, Steve. Never! <laughs> Mama. Oh. oh, my God. This can't be happening. What am I doing here? I, I miss my house. I miss my family. Ew. I just want to go home. I just want to close my eyes, and when I open them, I'll be home, okay? <laughs> Senorita, no, no, do not cry. Never before have I been so moved. Here, take this money. Go. Go start a new life for yourself. Far away from this place and my indiscriminate boner. Are you and your dad close? Daddy, will you read to me? Who the hell are you? Uh, yeah, sure. This, this is, this is so much, this, this is so much fun. Ha 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 
Oh, 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 oh. oh God! Oh God! What's wrong? Is there no cake? Oh God! Oh God! Is there While no you're cake? you're serving me, how about a little dollop of horseradish on the side? This is my horseradish. All of it. Steve, here he comes. Take that, sir. Behold, a grown man weeping like... <laughs> That? That was your plan? Are you crying? Yes, I'm crying. He hit me with a chair. <laughs> what was that? Roger? <coughs> oh, 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 can't a guy sleep one off? R Roger! D -d 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 Dad just, just cut me from the... the he, he, he cut me from the team! <laughs> now... Picture that white boy is you. What? My daddy cut me from the team? But daddy, I, I tried my hardest. Why won't you love me? Why, daddy, why? Oh, God, this feels so good. That's right, dad. Let it out. What a wonderful alternative to suicide. Told ya. Thank you, son. You, I'll have a gin and tonic. I want a small plastic bag and some industrial solvent. Oh, adorable. But you're just a little girl. You can't drink her, huh? Oh, my God. I'm trapped on a plane, and I can't get a drink. No, no. Ah, ah. Leave me alone, baby. <laughs> You're my baby! You're my baby and I love you so much! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, Haley, stop! Your bitch crying is gonna be in the background of this entire video! But I, I love him so much! I don't wanna die here! I'm supposed to die in the medical tent at a music festival! <laughs> Jeff, no! Ah! Ah! Jeff, now we lost our rope. <laughs> Beat him up. Beat Get him a hold up. of yourself. Beat him up. <laughs> Nigga. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Don't look at me, whore. We both know what this is. It's love. Forever love. <laughs> <laughs> How come I didn't see it coming? There, there. I should have known better. But then you said you were doing it because you care. I do care, kiddo. I care about me. Now, shh. <laughs> now, now, we've had enough of this. <laughs> That's a little trick I learned to quiet newborns when I worked in the maternity ward. <laughs> Quite a few people are still looking for this little lady, I'll tell you that much. She's playing ultimate frisbee without you. No! Why, Haley? Why? Because this is you throwing. Ugh! And this is you catching. <sighs> That's wonderful mime work. I guess you're just good at everything. <laughs> what? Now that's strange. <laughs> Best feminine sissy run since Kung Fu Hustle on God. Shh. Did you wait three days to cash it like I asked you? Because I have the money. I have, like, way more money than that, even. <laughs> I don't have very much money. Time for Klaus to show how much of a man he really is. Uh, I'm not very much of a man. <laughs> the new stand eels. Sensitive. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Stan, what are you doing? I don't think you're right for me. And it makes me sad, and I don't want to waste these tears, so I'm watering this plant. Stan, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm robbing us. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, I just, it's too hard. You guys were right. You can't live on minimum wage. I did things out there. I did things with my hands and my mouth that I'm not proud of just to get by. It, it's what you do. It's what you gotta do. Dad, it's been less than two days. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, coolish wolden place. I actually used to sell penis for a place to stay. That's one thing you learn in the hood. If you make a female bust a nut hard enough, she'll just move you into her house and don't charge you any rent money and still cook and clean and everything. <laughs> Roger, I'm trying to meditate. Are you crying? No, why? You, you, you think you heard something? Please don't make me do this. Oh, thank God. <laughs> what have I done? Yes, I can say goodbye to my separation anxiety because the Globetrotters didn't abandon me. My dad did. Which is way worse, because that ain't never going away. <laughs> oh, God, not that guy again. <laughs> epic fail! Klaus, do you even know what an epic fail is? Yeah, Klaus. I was just crying about my life. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> epic fail! Don't shut me out, Jeff! <laughs> I'm so sorry you lost your hat, but we'll get through this <laughs> together. I loved you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, Devin, Devin is re re retiring. <laughs> Who the hell is Devin? Who the? Who? 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 He's our mailman. The only man who's delivered mail to this house for my entire life. His shorts were always the harbinger of summer. Oh. I could kill you right now. Weren't you supposed to quit crying for New Year's? Oh, I'm sensitive. It's a desirable trait in some cultures. In France, maybe. Oh, my God. Move to France. Go the hell to France! Look, it's not even my rule. It's your dad's. You think I wouldn't like to spark up a duber every now and again? Just take a nice, slow, extra careful drive. What's a duber? But, Mom... It's okay, Haley. I can handle it. I mean, weed's the thing I care about the most, but maybe that should be you. No. Aww. No. Thanks, Never do Jeff. That. Never Man, do that. Man, you got me thinking about weed now. That stuff makes me want to drink so much soda. I smoke a bone, then I drain a two liter of Sunkist in like a second. Is it just me, or does that all sound like penis sucking references? Or am I just nasty? It can't just be me. They've got at least two or three fingers in on this joke, and that is not what it sounds like. It freaks people out. Thanks for letting me go back on my medication, Mrs. S. Better than the alternative. Did they have sex? God damn, bitch. Ooh. That is that is a turn on. Uh... All right, now my penis is soft again. It went as fast as it came. Ha ha ha. Triple entendre. Ha ha ha. I got an idea. I saw this in a movie once. Hop with me. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's good. No. Why did you do that? Well, you weren't going to do anything from a movie. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> I feel funny. 
<laughs> it must be the smoke inhalation. <laughs> it's killing my eyes. Ah, oh, you know what I meant to ask you? How did we get out of there? I, I think we did some sweet maneuvers from that movie Backdraft. I never saw Backdraft. Never saw Backdraft either. Me either. Never saw Backdraft either. It sounds like a, it sounds like an Australian porn. Yep, yeah, there it is. You gotta get two of each. Two of every bag of chips. Stan, do you, do you feel lighter? I'm definitely getting lighter. I think I'm becoming immune to gravity. Why is there a leopard on the Cheetos bag? Wait, it's a cheetah. Cheetah, Cheetos. There is so much beauty in the world. Why do my wrists hurt? Because you're lying on them. How can you hear what I'm thinking? <laughs> do you live <laughs> here? Because I can live here. This place is great. Hey, look, someone picked out all my favorite stuff. That'll be... And this! Cat food? If I hold this, I won't float away. Your motor rear. What's your price for flying? Da 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 da. Finding Mr. Ryan. Da 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 da. Wait a minute. Who who is this? Night Ranger man. Night Ranger. Night Ranger. Oh my God! We're high. Of course. When the barn burned, we became pawns in marijuana's mellow chess game. Freeze! Hands in the air! Hey, Steve, I'm just telling a few people. I'm making belt buckles now if you want to buy one. Check it out! There is no god. He's got red eyes from smoking weed. What the hell? I really can't believe you're an educator, Brian. My job's mostly administrative. Oh, to find a stoned God, loser, so I must become a stoned loser. Oh. Watch and learn. Yeah, he's ripping the bong. He's gonna hit the bong right on. Yep. Yep. Okay. Word? Not sure this stuff is working. I don't feel any. Ah! <laughs> hey, babe. What? Want a pot brownie? No. I'm babysitting. I'm being responsible. Good, because I already ate both. <laughs> Wait, did I? Yeah, bro. I wish mom and dad could have seen that. Me too, man. I think I'm really proving myself. Me too, man. This is going to sound weird, but for the first time in my life, I feel like a grown woman. Me too, man. So, how much weed do you want to buy? Why? Aren't you gonna give me some? Come on, we've been making out all night. No, what? I'm a drug dealer. I only make out with customers to make sure they're not cops. Cops can't legally make out with people they're not in love with. You also gotta have sex with your customers too. That way, that's the best way to make sure that they're not gonna rob you. I stayed under for five minutes and I saved the bag of weed. Winner, winner, weed for dinner. Roger! What's up? You need weed? Get in the car. Ah, oh, he needs a little something else. I'm gonna go blow this guy. You on fire today, Applesauce! What? How the fuck did he do that? Whoa, babe, I held it in all night. That's awesome, babe. So close. You can't do that on television. Is my favorite television show of all time. Okay, gotta go, Mom. Next time we'll talk about what your favorite show is. The third winner is this lady. What's up? My name is Angie. I smoke weed before every meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, fourth meal, second lunch, third breakfast. Well, this lady's gross. Everything in this room is edible. Mm. 
This machine scans your brain and determines the perfect strain of weed for your personality. Who wants to try? Me, 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 me. I love weed, I love weed, I love weed, I love weed. Please. Man, I hate this lady. Why do I make this contest random? <sighs> While we're all here, I think I'm addicted to pot. Don't be ridiculous. Mom, while we're here, I really think I should check myself in for my pot problem. Just stop it, Haley. <laughs> Dude. Hi, sorry to disturb you. My name's Randy. I just moved in with my mom down the street. I'm oh. throwing empties at your head. I was recently released from prison. And the law requires me to tell everyone within a two-mile radius that I'm a registered sex offender. I threw peanuts at you! I used to work over at the water park where I molested a ton of kids, but now I'm out, so we'll see what happens. I was going out looking for it when it was right down the street, living with its mother and watching what? The Sandlot on DVD. Uh, Stan? It was right there, and I couldn't even see it. Ice Dad. cream and I nap! Guess that's why it's perfect. What? You don't even realize it's happening. It's Dad! What? Steve just rode away in that pedophile's ice cream truck. Oh my god. He had ice cream at lunch. <laughs> I'm the salt. All colonels have to wrestle me to get salted. No! Oh, there's so many people to thank. But I wouldn't be here without my elementary school gym teacher, Mr. Raggins, who taught me everything I know about seduction. Patty cake, Roger! My, my mother, your mother, mother, live across the street. 1819 Blueberry, Blueberry Street. Street. Every, Every night they have a fight. This is what they said that night. Boys go to Jupiter to get more Jupiter. Girls go to Mars to be superstars. Crumble, tumble, strawberry shake, freeze! <laughs> oh, childhood. Such a sweet sexual time. Would everybody shut up? You guys got it good. I don't even have someone to sex it to. The only women around here are my mom and sister. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Stan. I think we both know there's always been something there between us. Well... Now we have the whole house all to ourselves. She told me she was 18! Ah, oh, gross, Riesling. Hey. Hey, sweet bird. Look at me. I will make you cool. You really think you can, Roger? I know it! Hey, this feels good. Do you like it? Don't tell anyone. You'll get in trouble, too. Ah! Yeah! What a knock. What the hell? Sorry, can't ruin my rep. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you right now. Huh? Hurts less this time, doesn't it? What's good enough for you is good enough. For me, it's good enough. It's good enough for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, where's Sheila? I guess she left. Oh, good for her. You know, I'd walk into this office every day praying she wouldn't be here. She must have done it. She must have run off with that 10th grader she's in love with. I guess she doesn't want this. I get to be a golden girl? <laughs> Cream-covered boy? Cream-covered boy. Wait a minute. This has to be a trap. But then again, it's better to know. You're not mad? Nah. I wasn't even covered in chowder for that long. Roger and who I assume are the other janitors licked it clean off me. Steve says Snot's birthday's coming up. Where to party at? Probably Pervert Park. It's always empty, except for the pervs. But it's free. Although with the pervs comes an emotional price. This will not ah! happen, Snot. Indeed ah! it will, Steve. You won't know when it's coming, but it's coming. Ugh. Why aren't you getting up? I'm waiting for my wrestling rager to go down. It's perfectly natural. My coach told me about them when I was having brandy at his condo. No. Roger? No. What the hell are you doing in Thailand? Oh my god, it worked! Thailand, huh? I'd like three 12-year-old boys, no MSG. I'm gonna kick your ass! Ah, no, 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 no! no. <laughs> Did I just beat that guy up? Of course. Losing my eyesight must have sharpened my other senses. 
actually... Shh, look how happy he is. Especially my sense of smell. You, sir, are a pedophile. Hey, oh. little guy. I heard your dad walked out on you because he didn't love you enough to stay. But I know what'll make you feel better. At that moment, I was 100% sure I was going to be molested. So you weren't molested? No, that wasn't until four or five years later. It was my first week at Christian camp. But I'm not ready to talk about Father Roy. Boy, he had a set of paws on him. What a summer. Does this bring back any memories? Oh, you want me to confront Father Roy about what happened at camp? Thing is, I'm not sure it was entirely his fault. I may have deserved it. In fact, I may have instigated it. Actually, Francine, I seduced him. I don't know why I wanted him, but I wanted him. Mother no actual Stan, no! Well, I wanted them to listen to me. Didn't work out so well, though, did it? No, sir. There might be a lesson to learn from this if I were the kind of guy who could learn lessons. But lessons are not for me. Lessons are for schoolboys. Schoolboys are for me! Red light! Let go of me! This is stupid! You're stupid! I'm sorry, that was unprofessional. I've been a bit consumed with one of my other patients. He's a complicated teenage drug addict who's being molested by me. Principal Lewis, you have to see this! The school's been vandalized! So? I don't care about this place. It's about you! Oh, the cops. Morning, Stan. Here to inaugurate the new hydrant? Well, better christen it with my fire hose. Principal oh. Lewis! Are you excited or terrified? I have to decide whether I'm joking or not. When Barry signals the deck is hot, you boys sit down and bet strong. Snot, you're Jewish. You'll be in charge of the money. Steve, you'll be in charge of watching Snot, because I don't trust Jews. Come on, let's go play some blackjack! Now? But we have geometry class. I'll write you a note. Dear math bitch, these kids ain't showing up. Love, your main man. P.S. One plus one equals the two of us. Plus, one more would be nice, though. Maybe Jill from the cafeteria. Or your sister Lisa. You know, when she's legal. All right, boys, time to have a little fun with the winnings. Gentlemen, we're gonna see boob. Afraid not. I'd like to bring you boys in there. I really would. But the only 14-year-olds allowed in there are performing on stage. Ah! <laughs> Ladies! Alfred Hitchcock! Good tale here tonight, Brian. Who has the CBP on this cake? <laughs> yeah, Superintendent! Blast my Buddha belly! <laughs> Sweet, you killed my master. Now you die. Cake! Cake! Pie! Brownie! Cookie! 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 Hasn't peed on any cakes and hasn't challenged a dog to a fistfight in days. I'd have to fight that dog too. That's for real. Look, if you don't stand up to the dogs, then they chase you and then eat you and then pee on you like that fire hydrant that Principal Lewis peed on earlier. No one deserves that. So go on. Do what you were born to do. Go punch that dog in the face. Hmm? You're a good friend. <coughs> Any hoots, it's time for me to do what I do best. And that's whatever I want all the time! Wow, he just takes what he wants, doesn't he? When we come back, local strongman Brian Lewis. My strength comes from above! Andrew. Society's given up on these kids. The school's given up on these kids. Their own children have given up on these kids. They're looking. They're looking at us. You think they can read lips? They can't read books! They're a bunch of dumbasses with no future. <gasps> There's no glass. Fresh meat! <laughs> Ah! Lewis gets away again! Well, he did go to Harvard. No, he didn't. Then how'd I get this sweatshirt? How'd he get the sweatshirt, Steve? What? Are you really asking? A sweatshirt doesn't mean anything! You calling me a fraud? Saying I didn't graduate from F-U-B-U? 
And you got the boot off Principal Lewis's car. So you've done a lot of good. Smith, meet me in the computer lab. Oh, damn it, Asian. This is not my fault, Stan. I was texting. Yep, looks like the pottery class is coming in. Uh, perhaps we should relocate, as I am not legally permitted to be within 100 feet of the instructor, or more specifically, her sugary sweet ass. Oh, baby. oh look, it's Principal Lewis. Hi, Principal Lewis. <coughs> what the hell? I'm getting to those kids first. I need that money. I'm not going back to that school. What? <laughs> Yo! Ah! Whoa! People are excited! <laughs> Bitch, what are you crying about? I was counting on that money! I can't go back to work now! I took a deuce on my desk! <laughs> Yo! Why is he Clara, wearing a thong? Could you make me a nice hot chocolate? Clara, did you roll your gut? Dang eyes at him. Woman, I will make you teach summer school. I will steal your summer. First, we move you to a credit union. Better interest rates. Ugh. That's how you lose a summer, bitch. How much? Ten bucks to see it, twenty bucks to ride. No, I meant for the oranges. Not for sale, bitch. All right, I'll see it. What are you doing? Showing you my butt. What? You thought those were ding-dong prices? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Steve? I'm gonna use that. <laughs> but you thought those were penis prices, bitch? Fuck no! 200 to see it, 800 to ride it. If I want you to be our new announcer. Me? Uh, thank you, sir. Here's your trophy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you imagine if you got this big-ass trophy just for announcing? <laughs> no. No, a trophy like this is for when you star in over 40 adult films in under two months. That's how you get a trophy like this, son. This is Phyllis. She just moved here from Hoboken. I'd like you all to give her a warm welcome. Now, I'm not referring to the sexual position, the warm welcome, of which I am the inventor. The basic nature of the move is... Oh, never mind. You all ain't long enough. Ugh, damn kids! <sighs> Sometimes I think I should have just stayed in Peru, moving coke. Machado was a cold bastard, but he was good to his men. And once you drew blood for him, you were set. Hooch, blow, girls. <laughs> Not women, girls. Little bitty things. Ryan! Oh. Oh. Doesn't mean you know everything about- Hey, Principal Lewis! End of day, bitches! <laughs> Well, who puts the bath into bath, my best alto? Who gives the road that makes Barry very baritone? Yes, it's me. Now, Smith, take these PEDs. You have to for the good of the whole team. Yeah. This is the only thing that matters. Which is, is it? why it's going to me. Brian the Home Invader Lewis, a.k.a. The Basement Creep, a.k.a. Midnight Lace! Principal Lewis, what are you doing in our basement? I honestly have no clue. Last thing I remember, I was climbing in that window. <laughs> Is he covered in poop? Uh, no! Oh my god, you're our principal! There it is! Alarm, just my principal. Doing a great job, Francine. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, what? It's Steve's hallway. That guy hit the super smart Indian girl who skipped several grades. How could he hit a girl? That's nice. Oh, uh, poor Rushma. That girl's nice to everyone. Hey, what's going on out here? This guy hit Rushma. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. The homeless guy from the bus station is hung. But I knew that. Oh, no. He's dead. Oh, my God. He said he could hold his breath. I'm sorry. You are fun, Haley. I'm going to kick him. Chris Angel, you freak my mind, you filthy punk. Come see my room. No. What? I'm oh. pleased to announce the winner of this year's County Fair Pie Contest. The blue ribbon goes to... Emily Sugarbean! Who? Oh, my Ew. stars! I've been secretly competing with both of you for years. What put me over the top this time? I put fruit and sugar in my pie instead of soggy napkins and gerbil meat. I also made a sizable contribution to Mayor Woodside's mouth. Ew! No, no, I'll never tell anyone. Your reputation is safe with me. Hey, fellas, I nailed her. It was so easy. <coughs> How are you even going to get backstage? With a little help from me. The name's Abby. Abby Road. And when it snows, I need to be plowed. Okay, no. Stan, get ready to be surprised no. by the amount of drugs and horrors you see, and then shocked by the amount of drugs and horrors I can do. Yep, there it is. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm Amber. Give me waves of grain alcohol and we'll see how purple your majesty gets. What? It's from a song. Hello, Chex. I see you didn't bring your barber this time. I guess you'll never ask me to be your plus one! <laughs> You're fat, Helen! <laughs> you always get what you want, don't you, Helen? Bravo. Truly despicable his crimes were. In addition to the counterfeiting, he subjected off, illegal right? no. workers to inhumane work conditions. This man is a threat to society. He is a menace, man, and he must pay for his crimes. If he committed these crimes, then he has to pay the price. I don't know. I think about all the people he ripped off, but then I think about how funny and handsome he is, and I just want to sit on his Any girl but her. You can't keep two girls on lockdown. You already got Francine. If you want to let her go, then I'll back off Scarlet. Of course, then I'll plow Francine. I'd let him, too. Dan Ansem Handsome gives me quite the wide on. Ah. Oh. Look, her folks want her buried in the family plot, but she told me her final resting place should be in water. Shelby Lake was where we went on our first date. Uh, we had a picnic. As the sun set, we made love. It was awful. I just laid there. Sorry, Haley. I've made other dessert plans. Haley, you didn't think I was going to let Big Wang slip through my fingers, did you? Come on, I still got two big installs tonight, but only one more job to do, if you get my drift. No. <laughs> the bar gets busy during the holidays. Maybe you could use an extra hand. You're too late, sister. I already hired college kids from the water polo team. I've got almost too many hands for jobs. No. What's with this Speedo, Jeremy? It's too baggy. Is it a tandem Speedo for two men? Ah, even this is too loose. Mark, hop in here. Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. Jojo so Quinoa. And just like the superfood, I'm for sale at Trader Joe's. Behind Trader Joe's. For free. <laughs> She's even got time for the homeless. Time. I have sex with the homeless. You slut! I have to say it was super relaxing being an innocent young girl for a change. Innocent? You did it with snot on the beach! Yeah, I did. Got sand all up in my Jenny dress. Not to mention my gopher hole. Oh, I mentioned it. I can't believe this. I'm married to an alien. I, 
I've been having sex with an alien. I don't see what the big deal is, Haley. Lots of people sleep with aliens. Lois Lane, Marvin the Martian's wife, every cable guy who's ever come to this house. Roger's hosting Conspiracy Con in the attic. That's what's going on up there? I assume those creeps were here for a Roger sex thing. Don't beat yourself up, Stan. We're also having sex. The electro-radiation booth's running low on foil. Those guys use it for everything. The condoms hurt like hell, but I'm not ready to be a mother. I know what happened to your son. He's in danger. Are you seriously trying to talk to me right now? Do you not understand how Grinder works? We did what we came to do, but now I'm with my family. This is my real life. You're way out of bounds. Um, what? I think, I think you're confusing me with someone else. See that? I crushed. God, what a high. You're cute. How about after we go wheels up, I come in there and go heels up, and you can unload your passengers at gate A. Well, I'm back, and it could not have gone better. Prescott and I had full and complete sex beneath the meat slicer. Steve? Steve! Huh. Nobody's here to hear my lie. You know how E.T. could make a cute little nightlight with his finger? Well, I slept with his puppeteer. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha. Low key. I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. Mm. Ah! 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 Steve? Right here? This is crazy. There's a killer on the loose. Ah! Here's 50 bucks. And you just bought yourself a ticket to stop. But I was only paying for the blow. That was free. Oh, I've had such a wonderful night. But I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. So you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. Only the blood of a pure maiden will appease the crow god and ensure a bountiful corn crop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pure maiden? Me? I had sex with a guy on the truck ride over here. And who was he? He had a crow mask on. It, oh, it was him. Brown corduroys. Her talented mouth tells lies! Welcome to my Miata. This is James. James, snot. I'm driving for Uber two-seater. And before you say that's not a thing, it's not. Way to go, James. You blew it. Kids saw right through you. Just get out. See you tomorrow, James. I know it's not a great first impression, but what do you think of James? What's happening? I thought we were going to train. Soon, soon. Need a little sex first. Hold my clothes like your daddy used to. I won't make it ten feet in this garage before I'm deep-dogging a derby daisy. <laughs> Roger. Oh my god. Okay, wow. Can we please be grown-ups about this? Because I can't. Uh -huh. And you remember that hunky single guy who owns the Italian soda shop, Mario E.G.? No. We've only been here for 12 hours. We fell in love. And we screwed. Bella, I love you. I must go now. Mm. Mm. But then I realized I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't need to be defined by a single man. Ciao, bella! Mi amore! Principess! Mangia, mangia! Mi amore! Tutto bella! Principessa! Caro mia! Ciao, bella! Mangia, mangia, che ne va bene! Note to self, never date strong, independent women. They're usually living hot girl summer, and we all know what they do on a, a handstand. Did you sleep with all these? You were right to bring me here. Let's cream out of here. Hi. Stan, this is Amos. Hey. Amos, it's not what it looks like. The team was on steroids? Not the team, just me. Yeah, I couldn't get on the ice without my old Uncle Roy. Duh. I don't believe this. Believe it? That's why my penis is so small. But you know what? Worth it. This is the only thing I need to dangle to get the ladies. No. 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 <laughs> Me. Oh, yeah, you should know I'm a drunk. Just like my father. And I have no genitals. That's okay. I have both. What? 
How's she got uh, both? That affects the vine? It all affects the vine. And shares, if I could turn back time, was at the top of the charts when our wine was made. Can the vine see your outfit? This is for you. <gasps> whoa, 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 Roger, stop, Roger. Uh, is my dick showing like shares did? Ah, oh, there's ah, a tornado. Ah, ah, ah. Roger, I told you to go to the gas station today. I did, but there were some college kids there, and I wanted to impress them, and I couldn't think of anything cool, so I deep-throated the nozzle and guzzled $80 of gas. You idiot! Relax, just punch it when I say. Go, go! Look at me. I got my son's ass against my window, my alien's dick in my gas tank, and nothing but the open road in front of me. So I went to a real doctor, and he gave me pills. And I took all of them, because I love you idiots, and that causes me a lot of sweat. It's okay, he's breathing. Let's draw a dick on his face. Of course, I know what one looks like, but Haley, why don't you draw it? You're gonna serve these Hollywood elites some appetizers and knock their socks off. Time to become just as famous as Steve. I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a big, bright, shining star. So, what do you do? I'm, uh, I'm a director. Oh, you're gonna want some napkins. They're my headshot. Oh, oh! So, Cookie, do you like ponies? Uh, no. I'm almost 16. Oh. So, what do you like? Cocaine and stuff. Yay! <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, Patrick. No! Ah! Maybe I'm too sober to remember. Maybe if I was messed up now? Forget it. Fine, just thought you wanted to find her. <gasps> 14 blocks straight ahead, then you're gonna take a ride on Euclid. Well, Roger, you're really focused. Yeah, I thought it would help. Steve and the ass tones are on our way! Oh, hey! so yeah! <laughs> <coughs> Jerry, what are you doing? Nothing, man. We told you no drugs. And I told you if I was responsible, I wouldn't be in a band with a bunch of 14-year-olds. Your favorite song, sung by America's sweetheart, Whitney Houston. Come on, Daddy. I, I need my fix. Remember the deal, Whitney. First you sing, then you get your precious cocaine. How dare you? Do you think I would, no matter what they take <laughs> from me, <laughs> Sweetheart. Come on, Whitney, go get it. What do you think? You're the smartest person I know. I can't do this to Whitney, not Whitney. Man, if only I was like 40 years younger, I'd have been Whitney's father. I wouldn't have made her wear a dog choker collar or, or drink milk out of a bowl. None of that stuff. <gasps> I mean, I've always respected you, even when you were drinking and doing all that coke. Oh, Stan, thank you. Hmm? Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, not you, Francine. God, no. No, I was talking to the photo of George W. Bush. Look at you, a perfect specimen of a man swaggering across your ranch. God, Tim Purcell always got the best coke. Congratulations, you just made your first million. I'm a winner, Ma. Look at me now. Now don't look for a second. Can look again, ma! I created disco, you know. Yeah, yeah, and you lost it all, and Clive Davis hogged your eight ball. We've heard it a million times. Get over it already. Yeah, you're right. Who got me wet? I wonder whose car that was. And a machine that turns water into cocaine. I'll just hang on to this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go party my nose clean off my face. Sort out the rest yourselves. Charlie, 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 listen to me. Charlie, Charlie! What's your name again? Hello, Sharper Image. 
Yeah, give me three Sopranos pinball machines, the radio golf ball, a floating ant farm, a flashlight hammer to smash the ants with if they piss me off. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call right back. What the hell is that? Oh, I wanted to practice potions at home, so I borrowed some supplies. Oh my god, what did you do? Professor Icepick won't mind. It's like I'm doing extra credit. Do they know where you live? Do they know where you live? <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine, it gives you wings. <laughs> no? Sorry about that one, kids. <laughs> we gonna edit that out. Get his ass! I'm amazingly focused right now! Lavate las manos! Lavate las manos! I got plenty for everybody! All out. There it is. Oh, dang! Free fortune! It can't be. They wouldn't. It's cocaine! Yeah, 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 yeah! You boys are gonna eat her up. What? TV people don't do this anymore? No. Cut! Lightning in a bottle! Yes! Ah, oh, there is no downside to this drug! So you guys want to go get some steaks at the Brown Derby? Roger is truly one of the most interesting people I know. He's also a pathetic drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna read a list of different drugs, and Roger, if you hear one you're not on right now, raise your hand. Cocaine. Heroin. Ecstasy. Crack, Oxycontin, meth, steroids, cooked down Afrin, euphoria, the fake drug from 90210. <laughs> Got held up looking all over town for that pink novelty-sized rabbit my boy's been hassling me for. No, you forgot to get Steve a present and grab the first thing you saw out of the CIA evidence room. Stan, we just finally got Steve off the heroin from the last birthday present you gave him. I got so high. I don't know about you, but this case has put me in the mood for some cocaine. <laughs> I, I get that joke, because cocaine comes in keys, right? The leg man doesn't joke about cocaine. Cocaine is not a joking matter. Look at me! I'm king of the Jews! Ah! I'm okay! I landed right in the oil. It's a Hanukkah miracle. You still there? Ho oh, ho, this game. Fine, I'll get you a plane to Columbia. Cocaine is dirt cheap there. That... that sounds good. Uh, again, just want to mention I'm selling belt buckles I made. I also got a line of retro ones. Yep, that was the time. That was the music of the time. The drug of the time? Cocaine! False alarm, just my principal. Get out of here, Tracy. I don't need this now. I finally got my life on track. I say cocaine now. Son, I am bringing you to Mexico to show you that you don't need toys anymore. And by the way, father of the year here, this is how I wish I lost my virginity. Not to some coked up airhead. Didn't you lose your virginity to mom? Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Francine. The emergency fund. Wait, 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 what's the emergency fund? So I take $50 from your wallet every week. For? Drugs. What? Drugs. Drugs, okay? 
Stick them up. This is a bank robbery. Ah! Delmonico? Francine. And who's this piece of ass? This is Jeff, my son-in-law. Jeff Delmonico, my dealer of drugs. Mwah. Enchanté. I'm calling my Coke dealer. Wow, he can afford the painting? Oh, yeah, maybe he could buy the painting. At least when you wanted to get rid of it, it was about privacy. But now, trying to sell it to our Coke dealer? I see you don't have any principles at all. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to go see if I can sell Francine some drugs. Um, Razor, a word? You've been acting a little erratic lately. I know, it's terrible. I think I know what it might be. <laughs> I feel like super disconnected from the family. I mean, Haley said that thing about me being nearby, and it got me spinning out, and I feel like, hold on. I feel like I'm trying to make the gang a new family, but the Razor thing, I mean, it's just not a home run yet. What? Ridiculous. You're the Razor. That means something around here. Maybe just a little less coke, a little less threatening people's toes. Who says I'm doing too much coke? Take us to the office, Gerald. Yes, sir. But then I'm going to have to close out your fare. Fair? Wait, the company didn't send you? No, I'm an Uber driver you hired a few days ago when you were drunk. Uber X? Uber Black. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm ruined. What should I do here? Well, whatever you do, don't blow him. He just keeps coming back again and again. What? Put on this lipstick. Okay. Mm. You're a good dad, Stan. Where is she? Where is my little angel? Hold me back, like Sean Penn in Mystic River. Is that my daughter in there? No, no, hold them back. Is that my daughter? No, hold them. Is that my... You are worthless. Not everyone has what I have with Flea Biscuit. We got a special bond, don't we, boy? Hmm. Yeah, well, I've got a special bond with my dog, too. Hmm. Whoa, Ryan. Oh, yeah, you're such a good boy, aren't you, Flea Biscuit? Good boy. Oh, you're, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, yes, and you have a super active tongue. Oh, my. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna head home. <laughs> what? I just had my colors done, and Lydia tells me I'm an autumn. Roger, I've been standing with you here the whole time. You haven't talked to anybody, and you're putting lipstick on your eyelids. You're just jealous. You know, if you fixed yourself up a little, men would find you attractive, too. Instead of wondering if you're in the middle of gender reassignment surgery. Uh, stop! Stop! Can't you see this man needs top dollar skin care? Don't worry, this borage oil scrub both exfoliates and rejuvenates. Mm, a lot of your skin is just coming right off. Stan! What are you doing here? Uh, working. Fine, I guess I can squeeze you in. <laughs> That's some glory hole humor for you. What? My jokes are what people show up for. The BJs are shit. <laughs> I'm so sad! Leave me alone! Kiwis. Finally, someone invented a fruit that feels like balls shaved exactly a week ago. Francine, the frosting! Hello, clown dispatcher! Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. I, I, I can't deal with this. One thing they don't tell you about these vacuum pouches is you can save a ton of money by not buying the pump. Ah! One thing they don't tell you about these vacuum pouches is you can save a ton of money by not buying the pump. Yep. What is it the poets say about wine? <laughs> Am I drunk? What's in this cake? Rum. It's also in this needle. Thanks, Dan. Some roadhead to celebrate? I feel good about this. Really good. And not just because I'm on Oxycontin. Though that is... A... Now! Ah! <gasps> <laughs> so long, sucker! Are you crazy pushing me in the pool? I had 40 hits of ecstasy in my pocket. Buckle up, kids. They're gonna have to go to the hospital. All right, here's the first shock. I've never seen the movie Titanic. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's a real one. People talk about filling the void as if it's a bad thing. It's actually full of nerve endings. Just gotta close my eyes, clear my head, and find my quiet place. 
I'll come back to that one. Gotcha! <sighs> oh my god, you're an alien! Oh my god, Lindsay! Lindsay! Roger is an alien! It's always the ugly friend, bro. Roger! She was all over me and my rig fell off and we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> did you see where they went? Who? The black guys who did this. I've seen enough. Drive me home, David. <laughs> I live right up here on the left. I guess you'll never ask me to be your plus one. <laughs> You're fat, Helen. What the? Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. You always get what you want, don't you, Helen? Bravo. Look. He avoided eye contact. He's definitely someone. We should blow him. Totally agree. Picture a little love nest down where the rose is clean. What's with this speedo, Jeremy? It's too baggy. Is it a tandem speedo for two men? Ah, even this is too loose. Mark, hop in here. Looks like you got some stuff going on. Want to tell me what you did? Want to tell me who you did? Was it a boy? <laughs> harder. Way harder. Are you using again, Carl? Yes. All right, well, there's extra in there. Get me some, too. Ah! Now you ah! look like a banana with a handle. <laughs> hey, you. You been Vladimir Putin in there? What have you done? You should be thanking me. You were just breathing it in. Can you watch where you're going? Can you go No! No! No stand! Ah, Detroit tap water! Three of clubs! Drink! I forget. Which cards don't we drink on? Don't worry, I took them out of the deck. Ah! Roger! I'm sorry, I got the bloodlust. Oh, damn it, Asian! We're gonna have lots of babies. No, 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 no. How many times have you been playing with yourself a day? Three. We're gonna up that to five. Why is there a hole in Daniel Craig's mouth? He was hungry and I was feeding him something. Bing Cooper, sexually active high school senior. I've pulled more tail than a slow kid at a petting zoo. This isn't my feather boa. It's beautiful, but it's not mine. <gasps> this has been inside someone. Now, there's just the issue of your payment. I'm sorry, I'm tapped out. I keep giving away money. Well, I accept several forms of payment. <clears throat> well, oh, oh, don't need to see that. <laughs> From here on out, it's just bookkeeping. Is this the same girl whose picture you put in your pajama bottoms before you go to bed? You know about that? Who do you think takes your pajamas off at night? Do the Kennedys wuss out? No. They find a girl they like and then they drown them. <laughs> now, now, we've had enough of this. <laughs> That's a little trick I learned to quiet newborns when I worked in the maternity ward. <laughs> Qu quite a few people are still looking for this little lady, I'll tell you that much. Million on black, Leon. And I'm enjoying his rule-free lifestyle. And a million on red, Leon. See, Stan? I wanted to show you that I'd thrive without your stupid rules. Double zero green. Ooh. There's green? Roger's hosting Conspiracy Con in the attic. That's what's going on up there? I assume those creeps were here for a Roger sex thing. Don't beat yourself up, Stan. We're also having sex. Ugh. The condoms hurt like hell, but I'm not ready to be a mother. Oh, crap. The foil got lost inside me. Francine, if you're going to the store, pick me up some Plan B and a magnet. You won't be undersold. Try this same camcorder at Monty's for $20 less. You have your receipt? No, I don't have a receipt. I stole the floor model. <laughs> the pilot has an unnatural interest in that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem unnatural to me. <laughs> India, the birthplace of diarrhea. Oh. And you, that's enough from you for the night. It's bedtime. Go to your room. Get back here. Give me a kiss. But I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. So, you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. Runaway do's and don'ts. Do pair up with an older gentleman. 
Don't be afraid to be choosy. Remember, you're the catch. Anybody want a piece of this? Against my will? I won't accuse anyone. Okay, lady, you've had enough. I want to hear it from him. You've probably had enough. You were too big to punch. <laughs> Stan, what are you doing here? You called me. No, I didn't. Stan, I'm at shenanigans. I'm super drunk and about to get raped. Come pick me up in 45 minutes. Hey, I did call you. I sound great. I should get voiceover work. In a world where vomit comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I've returned as an it-style evil clown named Glad Hands, thirsting for revenge. That's Glad Hands with a Z. I'll haunt your every dream until finally I lure you into the depths of the sewer and to your doom. Uh-huh. And how are you going to do that then? Um, get in the sewer. Is this a fairy tale? Yeah, it's a fairy tale called Jack and this guy's Beanstalk. No, silly, jerking off at our sleepover. I don't think that we agreed on that. All right, Steve, play it cool for your parents. You used to live in these vulnerable bodies. Bodies break down. Look! <laughs> Nagel, you son of a bitch, let's drug some kids. Oh, you kidding me? You already cut the turkey? It's the end of the world, and we've been left behind. Oh, my God! Ha uh ha. -huh. The homeless guy from the bus station is hung. But I knew what? That. The Smith sisters takes the precious from us. Precious as ours as. Oh, what a beautiful ring this is. Wait, this turns people invisible? Who needs to be invisible in the middle of nowhere? Where were you when I farted at Danny's wedding? Roger, I see you're busy, but I was thinking it's time I teach you how to do some stuff on your own. The laundry, cleaning, making your own iced tea. No! Ah! Ah! I'll kill you! You're a dead man! Ah! See? Maniac. This is a good bagel. Probably because it's a donut. What are you doing after this? You know, you don't, you don't need to stand there. I'll, I'll tell them you helped me. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Are we gonna fool around? Roger, give me a Coke. You got it. Diet Coke. I didn't say diet. No, but your thighs did. I heard you walking a mile away. Here comes Haley. Here comes Haley. I don't know. Maybe this business has changed too much. Did you know I read that they bleach buttholes now, Stephen? Are they what? trying to say God chose the wrong color? <sighs> Help me. All right, seagulls, take me home. Yes! Yeah. Stan, dinner. Huh, <laughs> probably shouldn't have farted before I started that walk. Dance for me. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's enough. I've got what I need. You are terrible. You've got no rhythm, no coordination. I've, I've seen two epileptics share a bowl of noodles with more grace. Nice. Huh? <gasps> Madam, please uncover yourself. Does anyone have more areola pink? I only have one tube. Klaus, these girls don't look that desperate. Kick on over 35 and never married. I'm calling my coke dealer. Wow, he can afford the painting? Oh yeah, maybe he could buy the painting. Mm? Need a hand? No, Roger, I don't need help. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to these two little Christmas miracles. Us. U.S. Immigration, where is she? Run, Annabelle! Ah, 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 ah! Do you have any marketing experience? I beat a homicide rap, I confess too many times. I think I can figure out marketing. I think we should get Pinkberry. Ah, oh, yum, 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 yum. And after that, let's commit insurance fraud. Crumble, crumble, crumble strawberry shake, shake, freeze! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, childhood. Such a sweet sexual time. This is the best place in the world!
Damn it, we came home. You're the one who's an hour late. At least I showed up, unlike you, to my candle store opening. I'm sorry I didn't make the opening, but I can come by the candle shop tomorrow. Camp failed. Turns out taco smell is not something people are looking for in a candle. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha. Low key. I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. Excuse me, ma'am. Will you be making a purchase with us today? <laughs> no. No, I will not. Jackie Kankin, poorly reviewed eBay seller. Cecilia Takaru's the name, born on a sleigh ride outside St. Petersburg. Closer to Tampa, actually. Or as us tampons like to call it, home of Hulk Hogan. Man, these CIA auctions are amazing. There's so much cool stuff. Hey, can we get a Farsi translator? Please, please, please? Will you feed her and take her for walks? No. Scoozies, has the Colombian boat been searched for cocaine? Uh, yes, there is no cocaine on the boat. Take back! Me too! I'm out! Sold to the transvestite in the red dress! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He is good! Name's Fantasia Lopez, and I'm on my way to welfare to get some free stuff. Don't you worry, babies. Mama's gonna get some food stamps so you can get the milk duds you need. The system works! I need to be over there. I'm gonna keep swinging my baby lasso till I catch me a man. Yes, Mr. Shershow, I may have left Sunrise Valley a girl, but I can assure you I return a confident, sexy woman who can shoe a horse and please her man. Yes, we have found our Miss Fiona. My dream has come true. You humbled me. I am humbled. Excuse me. Go on, bitches. Show's over. I nailed it. I had an appointment with the Horse Whisperer. Oh, yes, he'll be right with you. Thank God I'm just his secretary. I'm an associate. Don't worry, Stan. I'll keep your tongue safe. Got it, Stan. Come get it any time. But you'll have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Roger! What's up? You need weed? Get in the car. Ah, oh, he needs a little something else. I'm gonna go blow this guy! Now, if you're uncomfortable with me walking with my arm around your waist, I could also walk behind you with my hands clasped in front of your abdomen. Milkner! We went on seven dates! Nine. I roofied you on two of them. <laughs> Nothing happened. Wink, wink. How can you afford a membership here? <laughs> Concise story. Several years ago, I married some 95-year-old bag two weeks before she kicked it. Hi, Chantilly Dubois, world-class medium. Well, no formal training, of course, so really more of a medium medium. I didn't expect so much kneeling. Do you think it's rude if I run upstairs and get some knee pads? I've got to bring Francine home and let her know I've found my kink. I'm proud of you, Stan. So which kink is it? All of them. Uh-oh. Sometimes people are repressed for a reason. And once you start to unrepress them, the floodgates open and voila! Roger will be out of you soon. They just paged the Asian doctor with the small hands. Well, she's in for a fight because I'm starting to like it in here. I'm joined by some of Steve's classmates. You look like the type of girls who do a lot of regrettable things. How does it feel today knowing you'll probably never get to hit that? Sad. Steve was really cute. I guess I just wish I could have hit that. It's so important to have sex with people before they go missing. After the break, bulimia. Bad for you. But is it good for your toilet? Find out tonight at 11. Just make it out to Jeannie Gold Weddings. Who's that? Jeannie Gold, wedding planner. This is my emergency wedding kit. Everything you need for last-minute snafus. Needle and thread, band-aids for sore heels, fake hymens for those not-so-well-behaved Middle Eastern brides. <laughs> These beauties are packed full of ox blood. Trust me, that bedroom will look like the set of a Wes Craven movie the next morning. You must be the children, Jeannie Gold. I wanted to discuss the gift you're buying your parents for their anniversary. I'm just going to get them a card. Sign my name to it. Forever yours, S. They'll know. You'll do better than a card. It's their 20th. China is the traditional gift. Leave us alone, Roger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I want a little Ike Turner. Caught you on the side of the head so you can cover it with your hair. I don't want you bruised for the photos. That's how good I am. Now find a meaningful gift. Disappoint me, and next time you'll be dealing with Valik. Who? Listen to Genie or I cut you. I gotta hand it to you. You're doing a great job. Are you hitting on me? What? Ugh, this happens all the time. I will not let you ruin your wedding. I will give you a handy J to keep you out of trouble. The fuck is a handy J? Okay, Jay? Roger, let's do it. It's still on. I'm Jeannie Gold, wedding planner extraordinaire. And a survivor. That's one of your titties. The <gasps> boy is to die first. Ah! Uh, Here comes uh, the bride. Uh, 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 uh. What happened? Let me get that for you, dear. Bite down on this. Uh, 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 Good as new. Don't go into shock. Today's not about you. Okay, everyone, play says. Mom, here she comes. I'm ready to renew our vows. <gasps> Alex, Ronnie, cut. Mama's not making a monster movie. I'm sure she's on her way. She's only three hours late. Padre, stop looking so tense. You're stressing everyone out. You need to relax. Who wants orange? Root beer? I got two light beers. They were on the dashboard of my car for a... I'm sure she's on her way. She's only three hours late. Padre, stop looking so tense. You're stressing everyone out. You need to relax. Who wants orange? Root beer? I got two light beers. They were on the dashboard of my car for a long time. They are hot to the touch. Anybody? They do not have dessert here, but I brought a bag of Chips Ahoy. I was keeping it in a cooler so the chocolate chips wouldn't melt, but the water soaked through the bag. Long story short, some of the cookies are wet. I'll spread them out over here in the sun. Help yourselves. Everyone having a good time? Best wedding ever, right? I'm ruined. Oh, you must be the new applicants. Hi, I'm Skylar Montessori, founder of Rainbow Unicorn Gardens. We are an elite, exclusive daycare, but we strive for diversity. This one's dirt poor. It's fun. It's fine that I spend my days taking care of other people's kids while my own kids are raised by my bitch mother. That's a super sad fake story. No, Damien, we do not eat glue. The glue is not for eating. Whoa, 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 better. sirs. This is a daycare. Your girls are getting too old. Fortunately, my sister happens to run a girls' finishing school in this very attic. My sister mentioned you'd be by. Madeline Carpal Tunnel, pleased to meet you. Carpal Tunnel? Back straight, girls! And remember, those books are for posture only. A literate girl is a lonely girl. Oh! Greetings. My name is Ruby Zeldestein. I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. Are we really gonna do this? Do you have a medium character? Oh, there is a presence here. Hey, boys! Laura Vanderboobin's the name, and I just joined your workforce. Yourself on me. What? Who said that? <laughs> <coughs> Probably shouldn't have farted before I started that walk. Motherfucker, what? Excuse me, bitch? <coughs> <laughs> You're... you're magnificent. Hello. Roger, where did you learn to skate? On my planet. You really haven't read my MySpace page, have you? You say you have, but you really haven't. I can't live under the roof of a man who's forcing me to walk in his ignorant footsteps. And I can't live under the roof. Literally, I, I live right under the roof and I hate it. Farewell, simpleton. Après moi, le déluge. That's what Andrew Cunanan wrote in his high school yearbook. Bye, daisies. Prove that. I I'm don't so believe nervous. Her. This is my first soap opera audition. Oh my god, I didn't is see it? you there. You make absolutely no impression at all. Betty B. Getty McClanahan, we're ready for you. Good luck. Oh, oh, you did it again, <laughs> darling. I swear, put a bell around your neck or something. 
<laughs> yes, Mr. Fuck? Sher Shao, I may have left Sunrise Valley a girl, but I can assure you I return a confident, sexy woman no. who can shoe a horse and no. please her man. No. Yes, we have shit. found our Miss Fiona. <laughs> My dream has come true. You humble me. No. I am humbled. Well. Excuse me. Go well. on, bitches. Show's over. I nailed it. You oh. take our clothes without asking and then disappear all day so you can run around as one of your ridiculous personas. I regret my dance card is filled for the evening, but there's always the spring cotillion. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you treat people when you could blame it on Professor Edelstein or AT&T operator Sholanda Dykes. Speaking of which, that credit for my friends and family plan still hasn't shown up on my bill. That credit was generated after your last statement. It'll show up on your next bill. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for choosing AT&T. I just had my colors done, and Lydia tells me I'm an autumn. Roger, I've been standing with you here the whole time. You haven't talked to anybody, and you're putting lipstick on your eyelids. You're just jealous. You know, if you fixed yourself up a little, men would find you attractive, too. Instead of wondering if you're in the middle of gender reassignment surgery. Please, men find me way more attractive than you. Oh, yeah? Five El Pollo Loco coupons says you're wrong. You're on. Damn right I'm on. I'm on fire. Whoops. Nip slip. <laughs> oh, you should both go. The one he walks up to is the cute one. Okay, we'll go. And this time, Haley, we'll prove who's more of a woman. Roger, did you draw that on? Yes. Aroused? Uh... Well, it's not for you! I do a rainbow! You, I'll have a gin and tonic. Oh, and a small plastic bag and some industrial solvent. Oh, adorable! But you're just a little girl. You can't drink her, huh? Oh, my God. I'm trapped on a plane, and I can't get a drink. No! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, people, I'm done screwing around. There's a human life at stake. A little girl. And until she's returned to me safely... I'm going to kill a passenger every 60 seconds, starting with this little boy. <gasps> they found her! <laughs> Just make it out to Jeannie Gold Weddings. Who's that? Jeannie Gold, wedding planner. This is my emergency wedding kit. Everything you need for last-minute snafus. Needle and thread, band-aids <clears throat> for sore heels... Fake hymens for those not-so-well-behaved Middle Eastern brides. <laughs> These beauties are packed full of ox blood. Trust me, that bedroom will look like the set of a Wes Craven movie the next morning. You must be the children, Jeannie Gold. I wanted to discuss the gift you're buying your parents for their anniversary. I'm just going to get them a card. Sign my name to it. Forever yours, S. They'll know. You'll do better than a card. It's their 20th. China is the traditional gift. <sighs> Leave us alone, Roger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want a little Ike Turner. Caught you on the side of the head so you can cover it with your hair. I don't want you bruised for the photos. That's how good I am. Now find That's a meaningful gift. Disappoint me, and next time you'll be dealing with Valique. Who? Listen to Jeannie or I cut you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you, once again as husband and wife... Can we get more garlic bread? Stan and Francine Smith. Move it along. We only have the place for another half hour. Who wants orange? Root beer? I got two light beers. They were on the dashboard of my car for a long time. They are hot to the touch. Anybody? They do not have dessert here, but I brought a bag of Chips Ahoy. I was keeping it in a cooler so the chocolate chips wouldn't melt, but the water soaked through the bag. Long story short, some of the cookies are wet. I'll spread them out over here in the sun. Help yourselves. Everyone having a good time? Best wedding ever, right? I'm ruined. <laughs> Stage. With a little help from me. The name's Abby. Abby Road. And when it snows, I need to be plowed. All right, Stan, there's the VIP section. That's where the band is. Come on, follow <laughs> my lead. Hi. My hand's doing this. Can you think of any way you'd want to be a part of it? Bouncers love shooting dice, and I've got a loaded pair, so I knew we could win our way in. Okay, Stan, just let me do the talking. And remember, no matter what happens, we stick together. Hi, it's just me. I'm by myself. What happened? What? Everyone, this is Tanka Ray. She's moving in. I'm gonna make her a success. Hell yeah, gonna get her pregnant. Oh, we're wearing the same outfit. Take a good look, sweetie. This is how you wear that. Yeah! Nine years of gymnastics, bitch!
And get her out of those clothes. And then rob her, kill her, cut off her head and hands, and bury her by the creek. Got it. Actually, no, just get her changed. Oh, we just avoided a funny misunderstanding. <laughs> I almost cut your hands off. All right, come on, I'll race you upstairs. I don't know if I want to be here, Roger. Come on, a little wang will cheer you right up. So your mulch business is going under. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it just means my dad was right. Are you supposed to be pregnant or fat? Eight months preggers. They don't make you buy the two drink minimum when you're knocked out, snuck in my own. This is a party ball. Ah, perfect par. That, however, was urine I just drank. See, at least Roger shows the proper respect for this holiest of days. Ah, oh, I love your religion. For the crazy. Virgin birth, water into wine. It's, it's like Harry Potter, but it causes genocide and bad folk music. Huh? Huh? <laughs> who, who am I nudging? There's no one next to me. I hope I haven't missed the part where the three Chinese guys give perfume to the star baby. <laughs> it's, it's like the diaries of a madman. <laughs> Name's Fantasia Lopez, and I'm on my way to welfare to get some free stuff. Don't you worry, babies. Mama's gonna get some food stamps so you can get the milk duds you need. <coughs> the what? system works! What? I need to be over there. What? I'm gonna keep swinging my baby lasso till I catch me a man. Yacinda and her understudy were both injured in a freak accident. Well, how are we gonna do the show without a leading lady? Luckily, I met an ingenue today who knows the play by heart. Everyone meet Clashawn Montague. Diamonds, diamonds, friends, and men, diamonds. Can't believe you sabotaged those girls. Really? Seems like something I would totally do. Anybody want a piece of this? Against my will? I won't accuse anyone. Okay, lady, you've had enough. I want to hear it from him. You've probably had enough. You were too big to punch. Stan, what are you doing here? You called me. No, I didn't. Stan, I'm at shenanigans. I'm super drunk and about to get raped. Come pick me up in 45 minutes. Hey, I did call you, and I sound great. I should get voiceover work. In a world where vomit comes out of my mouth. <laughs> you gonna play that game or just lean on it? Name's Jenny. Jenny from DeBlock. I'm Steve's cousin visiting from Jersey. Yes! Y yes, she is! I, I didn't mention it because... No one's doing the math. Your hair, it's curly. You should see it when I wash it on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, no! You're funny. Only once a week? Come on, boys. Let's give these two a little space. So, buy me a soda pop? I've only got enough money for one Coke. Oh, that's so sweet. We'll share. Or I'll just have it. I made bologna roll-ups for snot in your... Cousin? What the mm, cousin. bologna cousin. roll ups, bruh? You can have these, Steve. We have roll ups of our own. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, hello, Haley. I'm here visiting my girlfriend. Ew. She's jealous. You're so classy. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a whole dude, man. That's a grown ass the nigga. They're all gone! Half of those belong to Brendan Fraser! Oh, thank the stars you made it. Come here, I've got you. Oh, bless you, Roger. I was afraid I... Thank God this one survived. I can still go to cowboy weddings. No, no! Francine, I haven't been entirely truthful with you. Oh, come on! I don't really know where she wanted to be buried. Hell, I don't even remember her name. But one thing I do remember is her hair. I told you that no one makes a decent red wig these days, so I had to go find my own. Took her years to finally croak, but it was worth the wait. You're pretty happy, aren't you? I am content, yes. You're a lovely couple. So which one of you is the man? That's fucked up. <sighs> oh, Omar, you were always the one who was good at small talk. What am I going to do without you? Who's going to set the recorder so I don't miss NCIS? I love that show. 
I haven't missed an episode. But if I did, it wouldn't matter. Because they're, they're all, all the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Larry. Abigail. Abigail Lemon Party. Abigail Lemon Party, would you like to go with me to the luau tonight? Oh, Larry. As my grandmother would say, as long as you're not a Puerto Rican. Thank you, Omar. Thank you for showing me I can go on without you. I know what you did to our kids, you monster! <laughs> why, why can't I leave things nice? Lord, it's warm. Devil farted thick today. We got a face full, didn't we? Edna, be a good girl. Run downstairs and give the air conditioner a kick, won't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, I've spoken out of turn. Oh no, it was your turn. I'd just spoken, and now it's my turn again. And I'm going to use that turn to do this. <laughs> it's quiet now, just like you wanted. Edna, what have you done? What on Lucifer's black beach have you done? Where's my baby? Your baby? Oh, God, no. No! <laughs> oh, you must be the new applicants. Hi, I'm Skylar Montessori, founder of Rainbow Unicorn Gardens. We are an elite, exclusive daycare, but we strive for diversity. This one's dirt poor. It's fun. Whoa, 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 sirs. This is a daycare. Your girls are getting too old. Fortunately, my sister happens to run a girls' finishing school in this very attic. What? My sister mentioned you'd be by. Madeline Carpel Tunnel, pleased to meet you. Back straight, girls! And remember, those books are for posture only. A literate girl is a lonely girl. Greetings. Ah! My name is Ruby Zeldestein. I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. Are we really gonna do this? Do you have a medium character? Oh, there is a presence here. A very bitter presence. The entity in this house was born specifically out of Francine's sexual frustration. I like Ugh. to call it a poltergasm. What are you doing? I just drew a trademark sign with my finger, child, because I've registered the word poltergasm. Any movie scripts you write based on your experiences here, Ruby gets a slice. This house is clean. But as for those sheets... I still don't know what a poltergasm is. Of course, of course, of course, come in, come in. Hope you like nothing, because that's what I got to hide. <laughs> hey, do you mind if we meet in the kitchen? My, my fish and this, uh, little girl are trying to set a couch-sitting record. You don't remember me? I'm Jean Louise Finch. You brought us some molasses one foggy morning, remember? So, yeah, let's, let's go to the kitchen. I'm Genevieve Bavance. Tonight on News Glance, is heroin the new cure for cancer? What I don't know about things will shock you. And cut. We're clear. You're late. You're Genevieve Vivance? I thought I was working for a real reporter. I am a real reporter. I broadcast live to Langley Falls every night on Channel 438 after reruns of the Taiwanese Prayer Breakfast. First pitch meeting is this afternoon. Prepare to wow me. You're already halfway there. I love that jacket. Is it? Yeah, cheap. I, I just want to make sure Haley's okay. She um, hasn't been returning my calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley's fine. But have you met my younger, also single daughter, Ramona? Hi, I'm Regina. Uh, I, I really just, just want to see Haley. Forget Haley. Can she do this? Oh, I don't know. Or what about this? Hot. Probably not. Well, can Haley do this? No way Haley can do this. It was nice to meet you, Ramona, but Haley's the only girl for me. How about next time you bring your A-game? Stan! Reversing this is a two-man job, Stan! Hey, no, stop! You get my insides dirty! Stan! 
gonna win! I'm gonna win! Whoa! Oh, honey, you were so close to winning an iPod Nano. Go tell your caregiver you need more money. Roger! What? If I let her win, everybody will know there's no iPod Nanos in those boxes. Just dry dog doo-doos. Well, they should be dry by now. I gave you five. And I gave you four quarters. <gasps> what the fuck is wrong with this <laughs> asshole? Oh my god, what the hell's that? Oh, the tattoo. Yeah, that's my wife. Don't worry, the way I have sex, you won't be seeing her much. That's your wife? That's who you're married to? Yes, that's Rosalind. Of course, that's her in her prime before the accident. So you you live with your wife? Like, all the time? Yeah. I mean, much of the time she's out of town for her experimental treatments. There it is. Question. So but before the accident, this uh, worked for you? Yeah. I mean, clearly I have a type. She's been in an iron lung since she choked on a pixie stick and paralyzed her diaphragm. She just lies there, mute. Axe, she's lying to you. You know how she goes away for experimental treatments? Those are our getaways. Let's just say the treatments are extremely experimental. But Rosalind is so frail. She really perks up once you get her out of the iron lung. Stop! You'll kill her! <laughs> Ah, forget it. Well, this was a waste of eight years. Thanks, Haley. If you want to ride home, I'm leaving now. That bitch ain't shit! He's my ride. He? He? Man, these ah! CIA auctions are amazing. There's so much cool stuff. Hey, can we get a Farsi translator? Please, please, please? Will you feed her and take her for walks? No. Excusies? Has the Colombian boat been searched for cocaine? Uh, yes, there is no cocaine on the boat. Take back! Me too! I'm out! Sold to the transvestite in the red dress! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He is good! He's got a better eye than Gary Marshall! She runs a charity to raise awareness. <laughs> Charities. It's all about podcasts these days. She's even got time for the homeless. Time? I have sex with the homeless! Roger, she's married to a dentist. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, I just adore the service here. Can I trouble you for a glass of water? Yep. Yeah, she's at all. Oh. Is he going to hit her with it? Thank you. Uh, before I order, you might want to get that couple first. They were here before me. I don't get it. She waiting to suck some penis or? Holy shit. She is amazing. She thought I worked here. You kind of do. Mm. Mouth still wide open. It should be called big women. Big women? Try huge. Bruh. Mm. Cecilia Takaru's the name, born on a sleigh ride outside St. Petersburg. Closer to Tampa, actually. Or as us tampons like to call it, home of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> My <laughs> Studied literature at space camp for four years, which naturally led me to franchise the Chimdale Ikea. Not a stress-free job, but I have a handle on it. Why does her hair look like a Sorry, candy I blacked cane? Out. Oh yeah, Little Women. Really Alcott like called it Little game. Women because she was challenging the male-centric Huck Finn and the role of females in a post-colonial America. Wow. Welcome, Cecilia. Uh, I'm not familiar with the space camp curriculum, but wasn't Little Women published 20 years before Huck Finn? In, in space, time is very fluid. As Einstein hypothesized stuff from earlier, might actually be... From later. Pull it together. Einstein's theory of relativity. 
And to come up with that, riding a Strassenbahn in Vienna, I'd say it was a greater leap for mankind than the moonwalk. <laughs> what are you doing? Mare, mare? Is that my negligee? I'm so sorry. I, I just admire you so much, and I saw it, and, 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 and... Oh, promise me you're not mad. What? I'm extremely mad. We don't even know each other. I mean, what's your name? Meredith. But that's my name. I know. You told me I can be whoever I want. And I chose you. But I'm me. Mm, sorry, you're already taken. I'd like you to leave right now. And I'd like you to give me your pants, because we're so obviously the same size. Why are you acting like this? Gee, I don't know, Meredith, too. Maybe it's because I'm standing here in my delicates like a crazy person! <laughs> oh my god, she's out cold! What have I done? What do I do? What would Meredith do? Run, bitch! Of course. The answer's right in front of me. Some steak for a tragically young widow, please? Which kind would you like? There are different kinds. My dead husband buys... I'm sorry. My dead husband used to buy our steaks. As I said, I'm a widow. Ribeye is the best. But does it also cost the least? Since my husband died, I've been so overwhelmed learning what different things cost. For a widow, it's on the house. I'm the same as her. Just drop it in the sack. Widows! I can't let you test drive a Lamborghini. You have no jobs, no credit, no husbands. We're widows. Roger? Where'd you get the car? The agency sent it. Probably as a show of good faith. Contract negotiations were not something we engaged in. Wait, don't you want to hear about me? <sighs> Go ahead, say your words. I got the job at that diner. What do you know? I know I said I needed to hear what it would be like to be a real widow, but I think I need... Take us to the office, Gerald. Yes, sir. But then I'm going to have to close out your fare. Fair? Wait, the company didn't send you? No, I'm an Uber driver you hired a few days ago when you were drunk. Uber X? Uber Black. Oh my god. Oh my Damn. god, I'm ruined. Roger, Roger, marketing, marketing, genius, 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 me. Would everybody shut up? You guys oh. got it good. I don't even have someone to sex it to. The only women around here are my mom and sister. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Stan. What is everyone complaining about? This boat is the best! Don't you think all your friends would love to be here with you? If they could see you now and all this fun that you found But they surely can't because they've all drowned Ghostly corpses on the ocean bed They die of jealousy, but they're already dead But if they could see you now out on this party boat cruise Living the life and huffing diesel fumes The only thing that we have to do Is watch the temperature gauge and make it stay in the blue <laughs> Check out this petting zoo, wow! And this one's all you can eat Ever had giraffe soup? Pow! You're in for a treat What a fun ship, holy cow! When you have to poop, be sure you do it over the bow Climbing walls, there's just so much to do. And free blankets, wait, that's a dead kangaroo. This boat's the cat's meow, meow. If your friends could see you now. Jeff, what are you doing here? Who's watching the temperature game? Dan, I need you to sign this permission slip for a school trip. Well, I'm a little busy getting 20 years of crap off the patio. Is Brett Ratner's career on the patio? Oh, burn! Tell you what, you sign my permission slip, and I'll loan you my power washer. You think it's strong enough to do the job? Let's just say the Statue of Liberty uses it to shower, which she doesn't do often because she's French. That's crazy. But it's your funeral, bro. What are you doing? 
doing? These are my opening credits. Oh, sorry. I was just taking out the garbage. Did I mess things up? Franny, be honest. Do you think I have what it takes to be a sexy lifeguard? Roger, I don't know what's happening. I want a cigarette and five shots of Patron. Roger, you can't smoke or drink during your pregnancy. Uh, okay, but can't I just cook the tiniest bit of mess? It won't hurt nobody. Here, have some pickles instead. Oh, God, the smell. Ugh. Get that away from me! But these are your favorite. <laughs> I think I missed a spot. <laughs> Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm disgusting and I hate this thing! You! You did this to me! <laughs> I think if I had just a tiny bit of mess, it'd settle my stomach. No, Roger. Just a little crystal? Got my first shift for Southwest Airlines today. What? You don't know anything about being a flight attendant? But I do know comedy, and that's all that matters at Southwest. With you there, people should check their sensitivities at the gate. Oh my god, that's like a perfect Southwest joke! I want that joke! Give me that joke! Uh, you're getting syrup in my hair! Somebody help her! You can use it! Jesus! Yay! And as a thank you, I'll tell you how to get your seat upgraded without paying a dime extra. That's right, American Dadders. There's all kinds of travel tips the airlines don't want you to know about. For instance, guns aren't allowed on planes. So if you can get one on, you'll have a tremendous amount of leverage. Then you can sit wherever you want. Whoa! I was paralyzed for like 10 seconds. I couldn't move. Did anyone else see that? I thought I had a stroke. And that affects the vine? It all affects the vine. And shares, if I could turn back time, was at the top of the charts when our wine was made. Can the vine see your outfit? This is for you. Oh, 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 <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 Roger, stop, Roger. Oh, oh, is my dick showing like shares did? No, oh, there's a tornado. Oh, yeah, that's why we're here, silly. That's Julia. She's new in town. I heard she was hurt terribly by a man she loved. Weren't we all Poor, sweet, fragile thing. I heard she's looking for a fresh start. I heard she had her bottom ribs removed so she could go down on herself. I've had such a wonderful night, but I hope you understand. I, I can't let you come inside. I respect that. So, you can either do it on my back or my feet. Dealer's choice. <laughs> Percy? Percy? Jesse? What's your name, darling? Tawny Luxardo, one of the escorts you hired to have sex for money. Listen, I got VIPs here. Stop telling everyone you're an escort. Gotcha, low key, I'm all over it. I'll circulate, but give me the signal. Two taps on the nose, and I'll come running to suck you off. Did you just do it? I blinked. <laughs> we almost died. I thought it was curtains for old Tawny. I realize now life is precious. I want a baby. Who wants to give old Tawny a baby? Who wants to support old Tawny and her baby for the rest of their lives? Hmm. Stop right there. What kind of mashugan a curriculum is being taught here? Opa! And who, God damn it, who are you? Mrs. Weinsteinopolis. Half Greek, half Jewish, all overprotective mother to my son Dimitri here. Mom, we talked about boundaries. And I told you, my heart knows none. Damn it, we came home. Poorly reviewed eBay seller. Hey, Spanish! Well, if it isn't my arch nemesis, Genie Gold. Yes, it is I, incontinent wedding planner Genie Gold. 
who is, of course, also your sister. Oh, so many things make sense now. I think your experience is going to be a lot different than that, because Pendlington is an all-girls school? Please, please don't tell Gina I said anything. Don't tell Gina what? Oh, shit. Don't look at him for help. This is between you and me. I'm still pissed at you. For what? What did I do? You're the one who's an hour late. At least I showed up, unlike you, to my candle store opening. Hey, uh, I, I think I'm gonna bounce. I'm sorry I didn't make the opening, but I can come by the candle shop tomorrow. Can't. Failed. Turns out taco smell is not something people are looking for in a candle. Oh. I'm gonna be a supermodel. Oh! What the hell? Is anyone else seeing this? Christian woman. Oh, yeah. You know she's Christian because she's wearing shit that makes her look like a very ah! fluorescent lady statue of liberty. Ah, ah, there's no room. There's no... It doesn't work that way. You almost killed me. Roger, how do you eat everything and not gain any weight? Good genes, I guess. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag tapeworm. <laughs> I'm modeling! What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that ham, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that ham, start the car, I know a whoopee spot. Where the ham is cold, but some of it's also hot. It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl. And all that jazz ham. Excuse me, could you keep it down? Some of us are trying to learn. Roger, what are you doing here? It's Lacey Crinklehole, and I'm here to make sure you graduate. This is about my room, isn't it? Sure is. Can you believe it? The valedictorian and star of her high school's production of Pirates of Penzance is here to help you graduate. You're lucky I couldn't go to Harvard because my mom got super sick. Don't ask. Now let's learn everything there is to know about... advanced theory? Yeah, I guess I could have one. To a chaste kiss with Ronnie. Mmm, that's not too bad. Makes my tummy feel confident. And you look beautiful. Have some more. Look at me go, Haley. I'm coming out of my shell. Maybe I'll even let Ronnie hold my hand. I sucked seven dicks, and I didn't even get to Ronnie. What? Thanks for your business, Leo. We'll get you there next time, buddy. What? I knew Leo wasn't going to orgasm. In fact, I made sure of it. He doesn't know, but I've been working against him. Do you keep Rogu in the room while you... Punch aluminum siding salesman in the balls? Yes, Steve. But I always put Rogu in the bath with his favorite music. Hey, buddy. The itsy bitsy Rogu was wearing his headphones because his dad was giving a rusty trombone. This way he has no idea what's going on. What? Daddy. What? Yeah. Maybe I should do my dates outside the house. Here go! Tom Yabo! Get a beat! Well, there you go, folks. Just learned what a rusty trombone was. I actually did not know before this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Prisms. Aren't you nervous to find out what you got in the history midterm? <laughs> I'm nervous about the time that cat and crunch box turned me on. I know I aced the midterm. I got a smiley. Oh. Ah, there she is. I, I think there's been a mistake. Uh, you put an F here on my test but forgot to add fantastic job, A+. Uh, I was just as surprised as you, Steve. You're usually a big old nerd. Wait, I see what happened here. I was one question off on the Scantron sheet. See? Here, I'll, I'll just take it again real quick. Buck up, champ. One bad grade's not the end of the world. Look at your mother. She's got a great life, lives in a nice big house, and she had nothing but D's. Yeah, 
Double D's. Oh. Now get on out of here, you little bastard. <laughs> Our greatest fear has come true. Candyman has escaped the world of the movies and entered ours? Okay, my greatest fear has come true. Grades are all Steve has. If he loses that, what'll he have left? And now, I have to protect my boy once more from failure. And I need to protect my girls from gravity. Oh, oh, Charles Lindbergh. Sick. And Roger's helping me out with it. Gotcha. Hey, Rog, can you hit record on the camera? Murdered by pirates, because this would have killed him. I better step in. What the f... Now, look, this is great, son, but if you really want that A, you're going to have to go above and beyond. Really dazzle your teacher. How do I do that? Well, I could help you out. That'd be great. Roger, do you care I if... never cared, Steve. Tiny shoes will cure my blues and chase the gloom away. When I dress my body, the one I'll have someday. What the hell? I'm doing a thing in here! It's my room! Why are you even- Get out! My room, Klaus! Ah! Ah, fine! Now, where's that car wash coupon? Let's start what with the, the scene where I find out my baby what happened? been kidnapped and- Actually, I made one other super cool change I know you're gonna love. Steve, meet the new star of your history project. The Rock. S friend Vin Diesel. Still technically a star. Uh, we're- wow. This is where we filmed the moon landing, the JFK assassination, and Def Jam's How to Be a Player. Wow! This is gonna be the most epic history project ever! You bet your ass it is! Now wait here, I'm gonna go check on the script changes. Script changes? What is- Apple box flying in! Dino, let's put sticks on a half apple and fly in a couple of seats. This still doesn't feel like a guaranteed A. Atlantic Ocean? Pacific's bigger. Steve's teacher will find that much more impressive. I think maybe he'll care a little bit more about historical accuracy. Uh, if I didn't care about historical accuracy, would I have stolen the actual spirit of St. Louis from the Smithsonian? What?! The toughest part was convincing the guard I came in with it. We're just here to help you. We being Dream Smith Entertainment, the production company I started with the money from your college fund. I'll tell you one thing, suit. We've got non-union sound, so the movie's gonna sound like shit! Ow! <laughs> That's lunch! I didn't laugh, Trish. To someday hear the story of the missing welcome mat. Hey, I'm trying to help you out. Then shut up and drive! We shut down the set of Captain Ron for six months back in 91. Touchstone retaliated with full fury. Friendships were destroyed, marriages fell apart, but by God, we got... How dare you! I'm gonna eat lunch in your trailer, in your bed. Please join me. I know I sound angry, but please come. My God, you're ripped. Okay, everybody, back to one. And... Are you worried this scene is playing too heavy? No, I'm not. And... You sure you don't want to bring in the monkey? Yes, positive. And action! You can't fly solo on this. You're just not capable. Nope, sorry. I haven't got any packages lately. Oh, well, it was a long shot. Take her easy. Hey, I'll take her any way I can get her. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that lying son of a... You're not gonna believe your eyes when you see what Steve Smith was capable of doing all by himself. Roll it! Is it gonna be a tape about him beating his own meat? You guys are gonna be taken aback when you see what he was able to do by himself. Oh, oh, oh! The aeroplane. And I owe it all to RC Cola. Charles, a baby's been kidnapped! I'll handle this. Hey, boss. What the? What the hell is this? You got a bad altitude. Good work, Gus. But next time, you fly. Well, look who's flying solo now, Dad. At least Mom's still proud of me. Candyman's got me! You've got to say my name three times to free me! Ah! 
if I'm flying high enough. <gasps> ah! Jeez, buddy! Got enough arms? Pull up, pull up! <sighs> Douglas, Douglas, Douglas. All I want are my shoes. I don't have your shoes. Please, you, you can have my shoes. Here. Do I look like the kind of fish who would wear red shoes when he someday has the body of a man? House is clean. Only place I haven't looked is this closet. Things locked tight. Oh. My. God. There are no shoes in there. We've inconvenienced an innocent man and his guest. You know, I'm not 100% sure I ordered that welcome mat. I might have just put it on my wish list. It's Jeff. He found your shoes in the bush out front. Uh, when you... Uh, won't let me do anything for myself! You're actually standing in my way! I am? Yes! That's the... Shh. I'm remembering something. A lesson from a powerful film I once saw. Don't leave me, Pop. I can't do this without you by my side. Don't you see, Dad? If you never let me try, sure, I can't ever fail. But you can't ever succeed, either. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Well, I'm sorry, too. It was pretty stupid of me taking off with this plane and thinking I could make it across the ocean all by myself. Merci. Uh, ah! What the hell? All right, son, you can do this. Just find those crosswinds. Good, good. Easy on the throttle. Pull back on the yoke. That's it now. We're just outside Langley Falls. Tell you what, son. From now on, I'm gonna let you do things for yourself. But if you ever do want my help, all you have to do is ask. Maybe you can help me wash my flight suit? I really did a number on this thing bailing out of that plane. A number five. That's two number twos and a number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. Shit! That shit was funny. That made me laugh, man. I can't even help it. Two number twos and the number one. <laughs> By my own daughter. It's a free country. You know I forbade anyone in this family from ever eating at O'Shanahan's again. Ever since they cut me off in the middle of all-you-can-eat wings night. It was for your own safety. You vomited twice and were having severe heart palpitations. I didn't feel full. Jeff, right. I'm rocking the upholstery almost every <gasps> single <gasps> How? How could we have let this happen? What's the big deal? It's just some dumb old mural. <laughs> well, I, I feel a little, feel a little woozy. This mural has been a Langley Falls institution since 1982. One thing and one thing only matters. This mural must be restored. Don't you need to sign up to speak at the town council meeting? Me? No, I'm very well known in this community. Hey, it's that guy who pooped his pants in O'Shanahan's. Fellow citizens, have any of you driven down old Chickasaw Road recently? Probably not. It's where I got my first handy J. Our love of the mural has been reignited! Mural! 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 But loving the mural is not enough. Unless it's restored, future generations will be denied its message of lointegristy and go astray like my very own daughter. What the hell is lointegristy? <gasps> this is why you brought me here? Stand Smith! Stand Smith! Did you ever think you'd have a son who'd be going to one of the most exclusive, non-segregated clowning academies on the Atlantic seaboard? No. No, I did not. Mwah. Huh. I'm, I'm a little confused, because you said here on your application you wanted to be a clown. More than anything. So what's your gooch? Gooch is horn corn for clown name. Horn corn is horn corn for clown lingo. Gonna be honking a lot of horn corn around here, you dig? So, what's your gooch, kid? Dimples. Dimples? Of sucking? Oh. That's right, you nut licking little turds. I ain't here to hold your hands. I'm here to play mind games and emotionally abuse you into being clowns. <laughs> That's clowning, you shitheads. Shit! Dang it! That's clowning, you shitheads! Hey, Dad. 
where's the rest of the task force? Wait, dab, dab, dab. Oh, oh, smudging just a little bit. No problem, no problem. Just need to even it out. Easy, easy. Okay, now that's really starting to smear. Well, I can just freehand that jawline back into shape. Hmm, might as well really get in there with some 409 then and... Why? I mean, definitely. Without any further ado, I give you your fully restored mural! <laughs> She did it. She did it. Point to the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Dad! It's the only way, baby. It's the only way. Haley? Sugar Blossom? Pumpkin Dumpling? Daddy's little sugar frosted raspberry maple fritter? Leave me alone! The whole town hates me! Damn ice cream in the Tri County area. Yeah! I can hold the hero up all by myself! I'm country strong! <gasps> Host a little retreat every summer at my house on Block Island for just a handful of my most promising students. No real structure. We just honk a little buffoonery, lay some japes, blow each other, you know, clown stuff. And I think you could make the cut. Really? If you push yourself to the absolute limit. Yep, I gotta take this. It's my accountant. Now you'll never have to leave the house, or want to. Dad, this is the single worst- When you're not racking up high scores on your sweet Sopranos pinball machine, you can groove to some hot tunes on your top-of-the-line Sanyo boombox with Mega Bass. You still like Warren, right? I don't recall ever how- What is he training for? An instructor? Uh, well, he... He hit me. What, are you a woman now? You just straight lie like a female. Haley, honey, you were right. It's time I finally did the one simple thing I should have done from the very beginning, and Ether says what? Start by reshaping the old eyes. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, oh, eyeballs bulge in just a bit. No problem, no problem. Just need to even it out. Easy, easy. Go! Oh! One really came out. No! Oh! Well, might as well really get in there with a the scalpel then. No! There goes the face. That's okay, that's okay. Gotta get worse before it gets better. How could you do this to me? I, I need to get away from the town. I need to get away from you! Haley, you shouldn't drive. You're acting all crazy. I have to take a doctor poop in the doctor bathroom. <sighs> What's up? <gasps> you may have them fooled, doctor, but not me. <sighs> Fine, it's me, Haley. Ghosts? And recruiting Jeff to play the part of poor, comatose Haley. Now I'll have a front row seat to watch my dad suffer. Racked with guilt as I describe to him every day just how much pain his darling daughter is in. You will keep my secret, right, Klaus? Absolutely. <laughs> Where's he going? He's not feeling guilty at all. He's back at work on that stupid mural. And he's hired Langley's most accomplished artist, the guy who paints the frescoes at Olive Garden. Looks like the grand unveiling is this Saturday. Personal interest in the fate of this mural. Okay. The unveiling is sure to be an explosive event. Yep. Hey, hon. I brought you some chicken soup for lunch. Oh, Dr. Monte Cristo. Would you like some, too? Actually, Mrs. Smith, I prefer gazpacho. <laughs> okay. Everybody, we don't have all day.
<clears throat> Meeting adjourned. <laughs> Baby girl, you're all right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Hey, what you did up there showed a lot of loin integrity. So I don't think people need to see a monument to your eternal shame every time they drive down old Chickasaw Road. Jenna, that means you. <laughs> hey, babe, should be home in about 10 minutes. <gasps> you know what? Make it 20. I gotta say hi to an old friend. Get in the sewer! <sighs> wow! I didn't think this through. I know it's weird to sit in Santa's lap at our age, but we gotta do what it takes. Why are you walking so fast? I'm trying to keep up with the new kid. <sighs> that dork? Oh, great idea. Let's hang around him and lower our status even more. He's mine. Oh my god, Snot! It worked! Hey, new kid! I don't know your name! But I don't need to. It's Martin. I told you not to tell me! Your new name is Fist Catch. No, you're so- Ate is the coolest. I'm always saying that. No, Steve. I believe you said glitter pens were the coolest. Not anymore, Snot. Karate is the coolest now. Yeah, it is cool. You guys should come take class at my dojo. The only drawback is beating kids up keeps getting me kicked out of school. I'm 17. Punch! Punch! Hiya! Hiya! Harder! Hiya! Angrier! Hiya! Destroy your opponent! Hiya! I'm Sensei Tom. Welcome to Dojo Biden. You must be Snot and Steve. Oh my god, he's telepathic. No. Martin used his one call from Juvie to let me- Aya! So, capable of nothing. Okay, you. That was pathetic. You're never gonna learn to fight unless you tap into the anger inside you. Aya! What's really funny is I bet you five bucks the first fight I was ever in, that's probably how I threw a punch. It's no wonder I got beaten so thoroughly. <laughs> What makes you angry? I don't know. Everyone has anger. Eric over there has rich parents and fetch your poor. Lucky. Show me how angry you are. Punch this board. I... I can definitely work with you, but you're gonna have to replace this board. It's my seasoning shelf. Now my spices are on my nunchuck rack. I don't even know where my nunchuck. It's not me. I haven't broken a sweat in a year. What do you think it is? Oh, I can't wait to find out what it is. It's a mystery. Did you find it? Did somebody fart? Oh, it's me. Like, is that what it? that is? Klaus, you're an outside fish now. Not any moves yet. Punch! Ah! Ooh. My shoulder! Why did you do that? Steve, I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Your dad didn't apologize for dying. Your jacket didn't apologize for not having sleeves. Use your anger! Attack! Attack! Sleeveless! You sound like a whole Karen. Things got pretty crazy yesterday. Up anger. I thought we agreed karate's not for us. You agreed with you, Steve. You agreed. Yo, Sleeveless, what's up? Whoa, that guy accidentally bumped you. You gonna let him accidentally get away with that? Unleash your anger. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I just have to stay one step ahead of them. Oh, no. Is he on drugs? Oh. They're teaming up. Oh, oh. a lizard. Twice today. Snot, wh where is this coming from? I feel like Sensei Tom is turning you into something you're not. An angry person. You walk around looking like Tommy Lee Jones all the time now. I've always been angry. Sensei Tom understands that, and he's teaching me to use it. Your name is Sleeveless. Okay, well, Sleeveless is getting in a lot of trouble at school, and for some reason he listens to you. So, uh, maybe you could tell him that everything you're teaching him is wrong and horrible before he gets kicked out. School's not for everyone. You know who said that? Joe Biden. I don't think he said that. He has to go. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I could use this $12. Settle down with a nice ham sandwich. But you can't put a price on anger. And that's what Sleeveless has. If you want your friend back, beat him in the upcoming karate tournament. If I beat him, he's free? It DuPont is like the French smith. 
Hey, French Smith, remember him? Do you mean French Stewart? Sure, whatever, I'll sign. It's working. Well, I'll just leave this here. You've done it, Klaus. You're once again an inf- Did you know he lives in his dojo? Well, you technically live in yours. Lesson two, don't worry about where I live. You're not an angry boy, Steve, so there's nothing to harness, but that's okay, because people who fight with anger are sloppy. You're gonna fight with cold ca- <laughs> You're ready. Now make me four more. But the tournament is in 20 minutes. Don't worry about time. Let me worry about time. Shit, shit, damn it. We're so f***ing late. Roger, I'm nervous. Don't worry. You've trained. You've prepared. This is not Lonstein. So I guess I'll see you in the first round. The all-important first round it is. Sleeveless. It's time. Well, well. Sensei Tom. Sensei Ryan. And, and guess what? We're only starting 20 minutes behind schedule! Steve, if you get in trouble out there, kiss him. It'll throw him off his game. What?! If things get really hairy, just give him a tap on the old starfish. No. I don't know what that means. He'll like it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, sensei, what do I do?! Starfish! Oh! This kid's obviously better. Hey, Sensei Ryan, nice disciple. It's weird. Even though Klaus has been gone for a while, I still smell him. I smell it too. <laughs> yes, yes, smell it. Smell all of me. It's getting stronger. <clears throat> Meow. I saved a seat for snot. You can release it to the general population. We've lost him. I've lost him. Whoa! Snot's about to beat somebody up in the quad! Oh, but you're not a bad boy, no. Steve! Neither are you! <laughs> this all started because you didn't want to be bullied, and now you're doing it! Sure, you've got a lot to be angry about, but you've also got a lot to be happy about. Oh! Like your friends that... Uh, and you don't get a second. No, wait. You get three. You hear that, everybody? You get two free fights. I expect you to use them. Thanks, Steve. Your love made me realize that anger isn't all I am. And instead of using my anger to fight, I should bottle... Mother... All clear? On my signal. Go, go, go! We gotta get out before Haley... Dad? Haley's home! Hey, girl! What's going on? Not on a cheesecake. The Cheesecake Warehouse is the leading cause of diabetes in the state of Virginia. <sighs> Haley, you're always ranting. This isn't fair. That isn't fair. Children don't belong in factories. I shouldn't print out all my emails. Remember her beautiful smile? I had to fight the kidnappers away. Seriously? God, is it really so hard to believe? I mean, am I so horrible? Is it that impossible to be around me? <laughs> we made a getaway. Happy Haley? God, what happened to me? I mean, my family's avoiding me. What if I drive you away? Babe, that'll never happen. I got nowhere else to go. Oh, happy Haley. That'll never happen. I ain't got no options. Girl, please, you're the only girl I've been able to bag in 20 years. I ain't got no options, I ain't going nowhere. Those were the days. Oh my god, how are you doing that? I'm from outer space, Jeff, I can- Roger, I don't want you messing around with my head. Happy Haley at the petting zoo? Oh, I just want to love her forever! Is Dr. Penguin available now? We could probably squeeze you in, but we don't take insurance. We don't know how. With a gut full of hard pork. Yo. Couldn't help but overhear. You boys in the market for some soft pork? Oh dear. You want the perfect pork? You gotta get yourself a slow cooker. Get out of here, Tim. You're not even a real pervert. <gasps> that guy's so weird about pork. Anyway, I'm Batman. So here's how it works. I do hypnotherapy to help people better themselves, to stop smoking. Or start smoking. I do both, whichever's easy. Roger, snap out of it! Oh my god. I think I did it. I quit! I quit not smoking! I gotta get a ciggy! 
Haley, are you all right? Daddy! Can we get ice cream? Pretty... One, two, Roger, three. we can't oh, have a shit. grown woman acting like a child. This ain't no Disney Channel. Nine, ten, couch attack! Roger, hypnotize Haley back. Okay, okay, just let me finish this last one. Mommy, I'm hungry. Can I have a hot dog? You want a hot dog? And some mint chip ice cream. Why, uh, of course, honey. I'll whip that up right now. You're the best mommy ever! Hey! Wear them until they fall off. It's in the rules. So, babe, I'm just curious. I'm not really sure how you feel about us right now. I love you. You're my best friend. The better the taste. I say we double the time. Or why stop there? Let's double the double. Aww. This pork isn't coming out until it's absolutely perfect. Well, I've always said I'm not going to come out until I'm absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, almost. Dr. Penguin, there's got to be something you can do. All right, let's commence the unhypnotizing. It's a very delicate procedure. I'll need total silence. Slap the shit out, out of her. Snap out of it. Patty cake, Roger. My Year old, forever? Not forever, but yes, until she dies. That is, unless you find her trigger. W w what do you mean? Happy Haley didn't stay Happy Haley. Something in her past turned her into the cranky, preachy, downer Haley that we all know and you love. Oh, look. Her seventh birthday party. Oh, look how sad she is. Like a single baby's shoe floating down the river. All year book to try and find... Oh, here he is, Joe Chandler. He has a camera in his school picture, too. Hmm, bit of a shutterbug, I suppose. Great detective work, Klaus. Hey, we make a pretty good team. Looks like this case was made for... Fish and the Jeff Man. What are you boys doing? It's been a week, Steve. The meat's falling off the bone. The bone? All that flavor trapped in the bone. What if we cook the bone down to a jelly? And then the jelly down to a broth? And then the broth down to a reduction? Oh, I took it at a birthday party that I went to when I was seven? We know it's a long shot, Mr. Chandler, but my wife's life depends on it. Oh, yeah. I remember her. I can't make any promises, but I'll go have a look. How am I supposed to find one picture? From the... Amazing! Thanks, Joe! Now, would I be imposing if I asked you to put a camera in your pee hole? What? Boop. What? Klaus, look! Look where she's pointing. Oh, a big man clubbing a baby seal? Haley, the first time, and doing it again will break her once more. Klaus, we're not gonna club a seal to death. You're right. It doesn't have to be a seal. Just anything innocent. The important thing is the club. And the death. No, cause that's- That's an awfully small place for a seal to live. It's not fair. Right, Klaus? Oh, yeah. Look at these poor, sweet, gentle creatures. The lambs of the sea. Stuck their whole lives in a tiny- oh. <laughs> Killed it. I want a mermaid keychain. Oh, good. Every morning? Can you hear me? There's no time. I need to do the right thing for my friends. You should be in that slow cooker, you pig. Oh. I know that's hard. What's happening, Daddy? That man is on trial because he did a bad thing to a seal. I like seals. I don't like that man. No one does. So, does the defendant want to waste our time before the jury finds him guilty? We'd like to call Doc. Ooh. Jeff Fisher, you're free to go. Yes! Daddy, what's wrong? The man who killed the seal is being let go. What? But that's not fair! That's not fair! That's not fair! That's not fair! <clears throat> that's not fair! Guys, I'm sorry I got carried away with the slow cooker. But my pursuit of perfection was not totally in vain, because like the pork, our friendship has been simmered to perfection. Let's eat! Mm. Mm. Oh, divine. 
I thought he put like Rooflin in the stakes or like spiked their silverware or something like that. All clear? On my signal. Go, go, go! We gotta get out before Haley. Dad? Haley's home! Hey, girl! What's going on? And, and guess what? We're only starting 20 minutes behind schedule! Steve, if you can't. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Person who sent this to me, you're not gonna be thrown out, even though I had to do a fairly excruciating two set of 20 push ups, which equals 20. Not 40, that's that's way more work. You can stay, but I got my eye on you. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous Hays D, Twizzlers.